fibbed. It is a fibshin time. Also, I hope that nothing in chat is broken. The bot that I normally use to lock up the place when I'm gone is offline right now. So I just had to try to do it all manually. I don't know hmm. everything this bot does. So I yeah, I have no idea. But yeah, I don't know when it's going to be back up either. I guess I could go check on it real quick. Would anyone like to trade eyeballs with me? Uh, okay, I don't know if my eyeballs? I don't know if my Discord message did anything about this, but I I have noticed that they have penned a message that uh, just now that from a mod that says that yes the bot is down and we are aware. Mm -hmm. I don't know. That's I'd rough. like to I'd like to believe that my tweet did that. I'm just gonna pretend that I'm the reason Sari bot is fixed today. Whenever it gets fixed. All right. Wow. Yeah, I know. I like to take credit for things that aren't mine. Um. Why is it so quiet on the... I'll have to see if I fucked up the audio. Oh, yeah, I did. So, why is Capture Card so quiet? It must have been... Oh, it was Sunshine. Sunshine was really loud. That's what it was. <laughs> yes, how could one forget? Okay, if I remember correctly, I believe it was... Yeah, that should be fine. If it's, if it's too quiet for any reason, just let me know. Shit. Stop, stop fucking with me. Also, wait. But uh, I don't think you answered. Trade eyeballs? What? Yes. What? Like, I give away mine, and I take yours. Trade? No, I don't want to trade eyeballs. Why would I do that? Uh, because mine don't like to cooperate, and I would like new ones. Well, that's... I'm sorry, but I that means that I would also require new ones. No, 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 no. You would just deal with it. No, no, thank you. I've been just dealing with it for like 28 years now. Yeah, but then you can just deal with these eyeballs. Yeah, instead. so you're used to just dealing with it, right? Fuck up, champ. You're not buying a house in your lifetime. <laughs> just think how great it could be. <laughs> okay. Do they have to be my eyeballs? You yes. need to lock in. Rico, Rico, I don't know. I'm not diagnosed yet, but if what all the other medical professionals have told me... If the if the diagnosis comes in, that might be like a whole thing in my in my lore that I can't lock in. Never locked in once okay. a day in my life. Unless I, un I think I'm huh? losing out in this trade. You think you're what? Losing out in the trade, the eyeball trade. Oh, the eyeball trade. I thought you said the straight. I'm like, are y'all gambling? <laughs> hey, are y'all playing no. Texas Hold'em? And I don't even know. And like, I mean, I, I wouldn't be able to. Play Texas are you kidding? Uh, you it's... go to Texas and you hold them. No, seriously, it's like super easy. It's just, you have cards. If they match, good. The more that match, good. And then there's other things that beat the matching pairs. Like That's Soup it. Hot Pot. I don't, I don't know. I hadn't played Soup Hot Pot yet. So it might very well be very different from Soup Hot Pot. I mean, yeah, yeah. So, so think of it this way. You got three eights and most people only have like two like a pair of you know, two pair of whatever then your three eights win right you got you know face cards are worth the most aces are high usually so like they're the they're the uh the best card you can get so like a pair of aces or like three aces god forbid you somehow managed it no you can only have two but you could if you get four because like they play two it's like crazy luck like that's the best thing you can get other than like there's a few other things like royal flush is like when the suits match to a degree like, there's a whole bunch of different little things, and, like, straight is when it counts up by, like, four or five, and that's what size of a straight it is between small and large. I know I'm doing- I'm explaining it a lot, right? A million miles a minute. But, it's not that hard. It's basically just a glorified matching game, but for keeps with the money. I want to play for keeps for money. Yeah, no, you yeah, know, people lose their houses for that. I mean, you think you'd do great, champ. Um, also... <laughs> that requires me to have a house to lose. <laughs> Aha! It's a flawless plan! <laughs> so, okay, 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 so hang on, I gotta think here. I remember what I was doing. I was here talking to that one guy, and what did he want me to do? That's right, we have to go arm those traps. Yikes. Trap the mind suckers, that's definitely it. You know, your mind you know that we're about to be at the end of the game when we are running out of spaces to put our core pursuits. 
Um. What? That's not the end of the game. What do you mean? Oh, you're talking about Dredge. I was like, what? Yeah, no. <laughs> what are we talking about? <laughs> No, core pursuits in Dredge. It's like a bulletin mm -hmm. board, and there are one, yeah. two, three, four spaces that aren't currently filled with things. Mm. Yeah, and I so see. unless there's like another page, which there might be, because there's a L1 and R1 thing, so there might be more than just this page. But if there's not, then that would be all the the quests that we have. I think you're about to get some of the the crazy hard quests, like uh, pick up the laundry. Oh, yeah, yeah, which is really fucking hard when you're dredging for a living. I know. Okay. Easy, uh, you know things. I do know things. How to repair station. Oh, I don't know that. You fucking bastard. All right, anyway. Wait, so I need to place the special bait, but I don't have wait, the wait, special wait. bait? Okay, I hope that this Are is going like to go the right, then. Or... No, Are I'm you... just at home. Okay, well, I don't know what to repair. I go to the blacksmith and I just give them money. First one's behind oh. us, so let's just go to that well, one first. You give them money or you give them repair kits. If you give them the repair kits, you don't gotta give them money. How many repair kits does it take to repair something in Palia? Uh, I don't know. I used 20 and only did, like, half my thing. Jesus. Oh, okay, so a lot. Because, like, I only have 60. Ooh, load the trap with bait. There we go. Well, Wait. I also have the second highest level fishing rod, so I don't know if... It probably has more health. Wait a minute. It won't let me load the trap with bait. Fuck, do we have to make the bait? I thought we were given it. You No, you have to make the bait. You have to go fish with the fish. Fuck, it didn't tell us. It might have told us, you but it's to, been a week. You have to go to like the guy, I think, and talk to him, and he'll make the bait. Or something. Oh, no, you're right. He makes the bait, and it's fucking bullshit, so we're going fishing. Yeah, yeah, you have to get the specific fish. Yeah. Okay. You're like, I think you're about to get into the really hard quests. No, no, we had already gotten into the really hard quests, and I shut it out because trauma. Oh, yeah, I was just saying that as a joke to talk about how laundry's the hard quest. I mean, you ever tried doing laundry when you really don't want to? Sometimes it do be. That shit fucking sucks. Yeah, it's, it's pretty easy, actually, I mean... Man, like, but you've been through it, though. You know what it's like to be going through it. You can't tell me that all the time you're like, well, gotta make sure I get my laundry done in despite of any feelings I may be feeling. Well, well, yeah, it's just... I have a laundry machine where I live. I just walk out the door and put my laundry in the machine and then hit a few buttons. Yeah, I know. I would do this when also, I was living at home, too. I mean... It uh, just uh, depends on, like, how bad you're... Like, sometimes you just get, get busy and you, you forget about the laundry. Yeah. Well, I mean, that, that happens all the time. And then you look and you're like, oh god, the laundry. Then you're like, no, the laundry. I well, it's also right up there, so I, I, I hear it beep, and then I'm like, I gotta go do laundry. And then you hear me oh, say that because you should, we're playing okay, video games. Okay, that, that might actually be a difference then, because my laundry room was so far away that you could never possibly hear when it was done. Someone would have to tell you, no. usually. Okay, so basically, I walk out my door. Uh, and there's the, the washing and dry, washer dryer. How is that whenever uh, you're trying to sleep and people are doing clothes? They, they don't. Oh, wow, that's really nice and considerate of them. What? No, I go to bed at goblin hours. Oh, that's really considerate of you. No, I once started laundry after coming home from work and my mom's like, did you have to? I'm like, it's 9 a.m. I mean, that's a fair time to do laundry. I mean, <laughs> okay, it is, right? It is. But also, I sure as shit won't be up at 9 a.m., so I think I would be on your mom's side if that was in the house. Yeah, but I... But have I you considered I'm fucking work. asleep? Yeah, but have you considered I got home from work and I need some clothes? Uh, it's, it, yeah, but you just have to, in the words of Bob, deal with it for a little bit. Especially if I'm sleep. If I'm sleep, don't disturb. Bad things will happen. Oh yeah, if you deserve me while I'm sleeping, I'm going to give you bombastic side eye and tell you some not kind things. Yeah, I'm not. You know, I think Bob can echo this sentiment probably, but I not very graceful or elegant upon waking up. Very um, hostile and armed, you know. And armed and dangerous. Yeah, like willing to willing to physically exert to not be a part of whatever is going on. Oh, 
Also, sometimes I hear the the machine just turn on, and usually it's like the the rats standing on it. Rats, rats. Wait. We're the rats. Ray at night, stalk at night. We're the rats. I'm the giant rat who what, makes what, all of us. What is what is this? What are you doing? <laughs> Hold on, it's a it's a whole song uh -huh. from I think this really shitty movie. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> but like it's like mafia rats is and this, like is this shitty movie still in the room with us or? Yes. <laughs> That's not great. It's not a good sign, Bob. <laughs> and the giant rat makes all the rules because he's the big rat. Wait a minute. Hold on, if this is the side of the island that the map just said that this is... Unless, oh, I guess it was the... Oh, it's over here, it's to the right. Okay, I was like, where the fuck is the floating dock? Oh shit, I didn't even mention this. So, some of y'all know we're doing a 24 hour stream starting Saturday. I don't know when we're gonna do this on Saturday or Sunday, but I told Glob that we would play Roblox. It's finally happening. We are finally, we are finally getting me to play Roblox for the first time. <laughs> Keep in mind, I have had a Roblox account for a while but I have been just getting the Prime stuff from Amazon, like from Twitch. That's all I had been getting. If I had played anything ever, I maybe did the the one where you have to survive like the natural disasters. That that would have been it. Oh, that's a classic. It's, you see, like, right, but the thing is nothing, nothing new. Nothing relative, nothing even remotely new. I mean, that's, ta and I can't believe I'm saying this because if I played that, I was in college at the time which i know still feels old but um <clears throat> that means that i was it was 10 years ago at this point because it was i was in college at 2014 ish like because i graduated 2014 and i was in college by that fall all right so oh jesus fish market mm. We're gonna sell all this. We have some money, which is nice, but like, it's, you know, other than like traps, we should probably put down some traps actually. How much are these? Oh, that was only a hundred bucks. It's not bad. We'll just put both of these out here. That way they can passively generate us some income and maybe get us some of the stuff we need. I can't imagine that we won't be needing crab pot stuff for this recipe. Oh my god. What? I've accidentally made my Palia house the buy flag. <laughs> <laughs> Oops, what an accident. Well, no, it really was an accident at first, but I like it. So yeah, I got you, Bob. An accident. Wink. No, not wink. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I just saw the pretty colors and I was like, ooh, I want that to be my house color. And then I was like, oh, <laughs> these colors are different. <laughs> Life's trying to tell you something, Bob. Life already told me that. <laughs> life's life's telling you again. Life needs to get with the memo. <laughs> life needs to fuck off and let me about my business. <laughs> life needs to hop off my dick. Can't believe I'm doing this, but I just got a net. What's wrong with me? Uh... A net? Oh no. But that's not a good way to fish. It, I mean, you get a lot of fish, but you don't, you know, 
Weren't you, like, using a net last time? I had to use it. It wasn't something I wanted to do, you understand. Yeah, and you saying you were saying you weren't gonna troll the oceans. Sure. Uh, oh, wink. <laughs> no, 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 don't be, don't be like that. Come on, we're friends, right? Um. Yeah, of course we're friends. But yeah, I, uh, I'm trying to get all the opportunities. I think all the recipe fish are just around here. I'll have to double check with the guy, but I'll check with him later. Oh, I, I hate start that becoming the person to sell the dolphins is tuna. I hate that I had no shot at that trophy fish because if I would have nailed that second skill check, it would have caught it anyways. I think that this three pronged one is like the least favorite of mine out of all the catching mechanisms. Yeah, it's just not great. All right, we're going to catch some of these. Oh, dear goodness. What a he's definitely grinning. What a handsome young man. All right, the guy is to the left, maybe? No, fuck, where was he? I forgot. We'll just have to go around until we find him. Oh, okay, I think that, ooh, yikes, I think the arrow might tell us. That's him. Ow, no, my hole. I lost my gar. No. I'm pretty sure. I hope it's a regular gar, because I might need the grinning gar. Let's talk about bait. Let's discuss the bait for the first one. Oh, good. Oh, hey, this is actually the thing that I needed to get the first bait. Neat. Ah, yes, big old bucket of chum. Let's discuss the bait for the second one. We need... Uh, looks like a catfish. Okay. And then what's for the third bait? This one? No, it's those fucking eels. I just sold one of these. Ooh. All right, so we need two eels that's 69 and a catfish. You got all that, honey? Ooh, eels. And a catfish. Two wheels and a catfish. Serve the way you like it. Got it. <laughs> All right. No, no. It's, it specifically has to be two wheels, sixty ninety. Yeah, two wheels. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> two wheels on a good uh, fight. I, I get. I don't know what would be a good like food term. You know how like uh. You you, you know like fuck. What was it? Like, you know, like, four by four is, like, four fucking patties and four slices of cheese. Something like that, but for that. Yeah, if you didn't know, that's, like, common burger lingo. If you tell someone you want it four by four, some people might not know, but that's, like, a thing you can get. I think I would die from eating that. Yeah, probably. Or you'd be close. Um, Let's see. So, we gotta go get rid of these and start fishing somewhere. I guess we'll just just go this way. Is this the first trap? Will this count? All right, we loaded the bait into the trap. Oh, geez. Nope, I'm good. I don't need any of that right now, actually. It is food gamba time if anyone wants to food gamba. I wish that I could oh, actually, yep. like, stream that game because i would oh, love Pallia, to yeah yeah oh my god so i wish i would have just like filmed a bit of it so i could have sent it to y'all but like the second i opened it uh with obs open oh dear god we're talking like 30 fps maybe it was bad that's unfortunate yeah it really is because the game has a surprisingly active audience on twitch so i was like oh this could be good a gray mullet well we don't need that all right, let's just take a quick trip here and then we'll figure the rest of this out. All right, all right, all right. So sell this and fix this. Why is it $39? Whatever, I'm not gonna complain. I feel like the repairs got more expensive though. All right, so now we just gotta go find catfish and eels. The catfish, I feel like, is going to be the hardest one. Oh, shit. We don't need any of those. I'm going to save my space. We got money for now.
Nope. Nope. What did I get in the net? Another gray mullet. How lovely. The worst part is I think I might actually need a better net. But we don't have any research parts put into that. So we'll just have to see if we can get lucky. Why are there people role-playing being a parole officer and someone in debt down here? What the fuck? Wait, that's... <laughs> don't, don't ever question chat. Like, Wait. If you see someone in the game chat, never question it. <laughs> Wait, what's going on now? Uh, someone... Down in the black market. Yeah, someone is, uh, pretending to be a parole officer, and <laughs> someone else is like, how else do you think I'm gonna pay my debt? <laughs> oh my god. And they're, we're playing Hot Pot. What an, uh, what an interesting situation to do on Palia, specifically. <laughs> you better, you better be sorry that you're, you're violating your parole. If you don't want this to be reported to the, wherever they report it to, then you should give me, like, three wool. <laughs> Extorting me? No. How scandalous! We should totally become a mafia, though. <laughs> Break people's kneecaps. I've always wanted to weaponize my chat. We gotta do it. Okay, and so it has to be picture and color. Oh, never mind. It's evolved. They're not the parole officer. They're the person's attorney. <laughs> Wait, hold, hold up. Because Wait, hold they're on. down there doing illegal shit. All right, I hate, yeah. to, I hate, I hate to say this, but this plot's kind of gone all over the place. I don't really know if I'm in. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna try to get this next eel, so I'm gonna discard this. Oh yeah, there we go. All right, we got it. We got the 69ing and the car. Uh oh, it's dark. It's dark, your and I am still like green though, so you're fine. It's blue. Tomato, tomato. <laughs> uh hmm. You see, do you see what's happening in chat? <laughs> Game chat? Yeah. Oh, yeah, no, no, trust me. If it was my chat, I'd be reacting as well. No, no, it's Game Chat. <laughs> um. Attorney client privilege. I. Uh, you, you gotta love how, um bad a lot of this stuff is and I don't just mean like topically I just mean like like quality wise it's just not good wait what is that did my trap work is that what this is oh the obliterated corpse of a mine sucker all right that's it we're throwing one of these overboard Wait. Okay, we have to go out back out into the left. Wait a minute, we turned around. Would it be right then? Nah, we're on our way. I should have known. There's our crab traps. eels, catfish, and a chunk of flesh. Let's sleep to stay sane, and then go visit our guy. Oh, I never checked the uh, fish in the net. I'm not getting what I need either. 
I have a creature corpse to show you. Let's see it then. You hand the tattered lump of flesh to the airman. It's almost unrecognizable, but you both know it could uh it couldn't have belonged to anything else. He pokes at it with his knife, uh, testing the rubbery meat. He seems satisfied. Yes, this is one of the beasts. Progress at le uh, progress at last. More to go though. Hmm. All right, so we gotta talk about the bait. We need second bait. We've had first bait, yes. But what about second bait? Yes, and then we'll have third bait shortly after because we need to get rid of these 69ing eels. Let's go. I was one schmied away. Sucks to suck. Uh, get schmeeded. <laughs> Alright. Do you want anything else about the bait? No, I'm out of here. Oh, did you ever check what was in your net? No, not yet. I'll do that in a second. Just a bunch of bullshit fish. Mm. Once you get them all, you'll be the master baiter. Oh, har har. Also, hey, Glob. Okay, uh, mm so let's see. Map. We have... Okay, if we go right and then left, there's one. And then if we circle all the way around, there's one. Oh, right. Wait, or is that forward? Okay, yeah, that's where we need to go. And then the second that it opens up, we need to go left. Okay, yep, and then straight forward, and it should just be, like, on the right. There it is. It says you should probably move away. Oh shit, do we get to watch? Oh, here we go. He's hungry. Well, at least it's not alive. Alright, so now we just gotta go to the right, and then up. And then once we go a certain distance, we'll need to stay towards the right. Oh, damn it. Man. I was so close, I think. Ooh. Oh, oh no. I found the one I was playing in. Okay, I guess oh, we can't yeah. go that way. We'll have to go the long way, I bet. Dills was full, so I kept coming over here. Oh, that's uh, okay. We're one down now. Don't know where you're at in your game. Uh, just started this one. Mm. <laughs> you could leave it. <laughs> <laughs> Hit this cup, eh? Just swap tables. We're right next to you. Uh, I'm doing really well right now. Oh, well. <laughs> I'm enjoying okay. it anyway. <laughs> oh, it's literally right here. Okay. Now we just gotta make it back to our dude. Anyways, how's it housing? Uh, it's going pretty good, honestly. We're just, you know, we're just chilling, um, eviscerating some mine suckers, uh, acquiring their meat, and then at some point I'm gonna have dinner. So I'm not really sure when, but at some point I will take a break for that. I haven't even uh, started makes, it though, so. Nothing makes you hungry like eviscerating a mine sucker. I'm just saying, you know, it makes me want to suck down some chicken wings. But that's just like an always thing, though. I love I love chicken wings. It's probably my, one of my favorite foods, just in general. Yeah, they're, uh, they're on the oven right now. They're not in the oven right now because the 
oven was not heated all the way yet. Well, that's a process. I just remember taking them out to, for them to finish thawing, and then that's the last yeah. thing I remember. All right, so I got to go left and then right. So I got to find the first opening and then go hard right once this opens up. Wait, no, that's not it. Cabin. Okay. Oh, that is it, actually. I should just believe in myself more. Got some meat for you. Drop the flesh onto the ground, and he gives a few slashes at it with a knife. It wobbles a little. Another one taken care of. One remains by my account. Let's finish this. Do you have any more? Oh, yeah, I have more. I, yep, I dropped the large bloody carcass in front of the airman. His eyes fill with sadistic delight. I'm glad I could help, buddy. He bends down and plunges his knife into the soft flesh. It falls away before the blade, revealing a glint of metal. With a sickening tear, he rests it with a W from where it was. So, like, wrestles it, I guess? Mm -hmm. Okay. Embedded in the flesh of a creature, holds it aloft. You recognize it's a necklace glistening in gore. Well, fish. That rat pest. Well, fisherman, some fortune at last. Oh my god, are you shitting me? Yeah, I'll take it. We literally needed that. That's some, it's one of the things that the guy on Blackstone wants. What? I got blocked. He stands back from the corpse. A melancholic look comes over his face. And now, well, that's that, I suppose. What do you do now? Can't say for sure. Thought I'd be asking you for an escort back from this place, but it's kind of become somewhat home to me. Doesn't feel right to leave my brothers here. I think I shall stay a while longer. In the meantime, I can make some special bait for you. It, it ought to help with your fishing. Hmm. What does it take to make bait? Here's what's left over from what we made. So there was leftovers. Okay. Hmm. Okay, but like, what do you need for it though? Is it just fish? Just any fish. The more you give me, the more bait I can make. So yeah, I guess it's just any fish. I win. Damn, that was fast. You didn't give me hand. enough fish. Yes, I didn't give you any, dude. There's a table back here. Oh, yay. Easy, come over to this table. Okay, this hand's, hand's pretty good. This hand's pretty good. Just a heads up, uh, I'll need to know how many people are gonna be hopping in for a Roblox stream so I know how many gift cards to grab? Oh, yeah, I have no idea. Also, gift cards. Some of the game Guap wants to play oh, are right, like that's paid right. for. That's right, I remember, I remember him saying that. I just, I, I don't know why I didn't put it together. Um, but yeah, uh, uh, yeah, I don't know who all's gonna be in. I guess we should probably like ask the Discord and then see, because like I obviously I'm in, and that's the only person I can speak for. Ooh, okay, good. I didn't smash into the rocks. I'm so good. All right. And so give me numbers. Well, at the moment, two. <laughs> but I don't I don't know who all would wanna. I think it'd just be something we'd put in general chat and then anyone that wants to get in on it would see it. That's probably what we would do. Or like you could do it if you wanted to. Or we could uh try to make some kind of event for it. Also, hey Nova. An excellent find. It demands pride of place in my collection. He sweeps aside some scraps on a dusty table. Campbell, Campbell wax. I'm really good. Candle, candle wax, wax pooling in <laughs> candle wax pooling in its corners. He places the necklace carefully in the clearing. And I suppose you'll be demanding recompense. Oh, was <clears throat> recompense? Recompense? I know it's money, but like just compensation, bro. That works. Just use that. You were an English major, weren't you? Once more, he opens the book, dust pouring out from the pages as he reads out loud. We've just been letting this guy curse us, like, this entire time, I'd like to point out. We have, we have said nothing. He has been 
deliberately doing shit to us with this book that has given us powers that no man can comprehend. And yet here we are. Once more, he... Oh, yeah, I already read that. Hold on. <clears throat> you begin to feel weak, but you're rooted to the spot. Knees on the verge of buckling. He finishes... Sp uh, as he finishes speaking, you feel blood rushing back to your legs. A strange feeling of power grows in your chest. We're I would have so won. close. One more remains. I loathe to suggest it, but the abyssal plane on the approach to Devil's Spine is likely a candidate. See what you can find. I'll mark a location on your map where you can begin your search. Anything else? No, I really don't give a shit. Like, obviously, you're just, you're just, it's gonna be weird, and I bet you're, like, the penultimate villain or something. I have to, like, fight you, but it's you as a fish. <laughs> map. Alright, so I know... Oh, yeah, I forgot I just left crab traps there. Oh, well. Time to go to Devil's Spine. So we just gotta turn to the right and head up. Wait. Yeah, okay. Had to be sure I was facing the right direction there. Drive? I'm driving! Oh, wait. I said, what's up, and you said drive. Oh, okay. You're driving. Uh, hang on. I put it together. I'm smart. I got you. Some people say I might just be one of the smartest people in the area. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. How big's that area? <laughs> <laughs> At least. Mm -hmm. That's At it. Least. At yeah. least the yeah. size of that room. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the size of the room, for sure. For sure. <laughs> okay, really quick. Is there anyone else in the room? <laughs> okay, hang on. Don't say that, because co coin's in the room. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> you, you have backed into a big corner. You either call me dumber than my cat, or my cat, stupid. <laughs> You're, we all know, coins not got much up there. Oh yeah, no, a couple tin cans rattling around at best. <laughs> but on the other hand... That's right, we can't even do anything here. We gotta go over to... Ugh. <laughs> I wanna win. <laughs> I wanna win. <laughs> I had that one game where I was my starting hand was two cards off. All I needed was the fish, and Milo <laughs> stole it. <laughs> That's how Sorry. I felt when I saw Sorry. you take a fish I wanted. You fucking bastard. I I didn't even wanted the fish. Neither did Milo know that you wanted the fish. She should have known. I always want the fish. That's like his one thing. That's my one thing, Bob. <laughs> I have the one thing, and it's I want the fibst. Oh, okay, good. Oh, it's an oh, it's an upgrade part. That's exactly what I need, actually. Oh wait, I can still get more? Hell yeah. Oh wait. There we go. Almost held it long enough to just go back to where I started. Blackstone Isle is great, but it's not that great. Oh no, I've been overcome by boat madness. Gosh, damn it. I would have won if I got that garlic. I just needed <laughs> one more of the weird bundle of mushrooms. I needed one more fish. I would need the garlic. This oh, isn't a bad hand. Kind of weird, but not a bad hand. I think I can make this work. Except I know realistically what's gonna happen is I'm gonna need one card and Milo's gonna grab it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I mean, I think you go before me now, so that probably won't Ooh. happen. Um... 
Oh snap. Mac! Oh my goodness. Have a good lurk. Hope you're doing good today. We are just uh hanging out, fiption. You know Oops. how it is. Oh wait, I actually have to find that floating dock because they won't do anything good for me here. Okay, if I remember correctly, I think that the floating dock is this way. Wait, I recognize this scary section of water. It's this way. Man, no one wants the shitty little tofu. I know, no. right? It has awful texture. Alright, upgrades, people. What can we get? Oh, we'd be two away from the biggest engine, but I think I found out that it really doesn't matter because our current setup is a little bit better. That's right, we're working on away. crab pots. Okay. Complex crab pot or massive crab pot? What's the difference? I mean, I guess we'll go for the massive crab pot. the bait and storage too until we figure out what to do with God it. Damn it. I needed that I piece of meat. <laughs> My life right. has been accomplished. All right. So it closes at 3 a.m. So that's it. Can't believe they cut off the gamba at 3 a.m. Yeah. I know. It's reckless. That's the witching hour. You can't let anybody outside. If you could not stand on the keyboard, that would be like a good place for you to be. I have not seen the Mama Piranha yet, and I'm really scared. Because at least if you see her, you know where she is. <laughs> But if you don't see her, she's not around. It's like you. that spider that you know exists, but you cannot find. Uh. Yeah. It's the only thing worse than a spider you can see. A spider you can. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna try to find. They want me to dredge, like, not dredge, but they want me to. Well, they do want me to. Oh, there's Mama. Uh oh. But no, so far Mobile it drink. seems like the uh, the best way to earn money is by gambling. I mean, ninety percent of gamblers quit before they hit it big. <laughs> like the fish, fish is good, but gambling seems to be where it's at. No, yep, it's Mama. Oh my god, the engine's toast. We're just gonna do this the old-fashioned way. Manifest! That's right. We got the stone tablet. Now I gotta go give that to the trader. And have someone fix my fucking boat. Well, since it's not Gamba time, it's Fibbing time. At a gas station now, so I can say coin is the spare change meme. It was instead of asking for spare brain, true. Mm. Poor boy. Show him the stone tablet. The trader, he's napping actually. We put some catnip on the little areas in front of the cat cam because they weren't like there because we, we vacuumed it and that was a mistake apparently. And now coin is, you know what actually, if, if someone were to do cat cam right now, you would see a sleeping baby boy. 
Um, the trader takes the stone tablet from you and lays it on the table next to the others. Hmm. Judging by the age of the stone and the shape of this glyph, they're part of the same set. I'll keep this for now until you come across any others. It looks like they'll join together to form a square. Hopefully there's just one more to find. In the meantime, do you have any trinkets for me to appraise? No. There, for all the people. What? Oh, okay. <laughs> Easy's like, I'm a man of the community. Yep. All right, hang on. Let me let me dock real quick, and then I'll put the camera on. All right. I don't know if the hotkey works. It should, but I haven't done it in a while. All right, let's see. Oh. There he is. You can barely see him. Look. <laughs> also, it's really funny because you can tell that he's been rubbing his face on the camera. Oh, oh! I woke him up. I'm terrible. She really did batter this camera around a little bit. Okay, we're good though. It's okay, buddy. You can go back to sleep. All right, anyways. We'll rest up and go back to Devil's Spine because that's going to be where we find a lot of our stuff. caught my first rare fish that's sick wait that's rare crazy. like like starred no no like like higher quality fish oh i see okay i was gonna say because i didn't i wasn't aware that there was higher quality fish well you have rare and then epic oh come on let me let me adjust my microphone stand you bastard one of the bad things about the sure stand that I got is that it's so beefy that sometimes it plus the microphone's weight is too much for it to handle. Ooh. But I'm also asking it to bend like way lower than they wanted you to. So, like at that point I should have probably gotten a low profile one, but I didn't like how much real estate the swinging arm takes up. Alright, so it's this way. I think. Pretty sure it's this way. Yes, and then we just go to the right. Honestly, since I can afford it, I think I'm gonna start dredging more. Like, but or well, not dredging. Fuck, dredging is going down from the deep. It's trawling. That's what I'm talking about. No, I, it's terrible for the environment. I'm sorry, but I I need to I need to pick up fish passively for income. Didn't you learn anything from playing Happy Feet the game? No. I learned that I didn't like Happy Feet the game, so I guess yes. <laughs> but they're home. They're all the fish were being stolen. Yeah, crazy. What, you've never eaten tuna before, Easy? We're the problem, not them. But I'm not gonna stop what? eating tuna, though. Oh, so you say we're the problem, not them. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. You're the one trawling. I mean, but I'm... Look. 
It's the least sustainable kind of fishing. Fine. You're right. Is that what you wanted to hear? Still going to do it, though. Yeah. And, <laughs> well, at least I'm right. <laughs> and that's where discussions on that ended. All right. So when let's you see. catch a dolphin and you have to then sell said dolphin as tuna, I ain't going to buy it. Wait. I still have a trawling net? Don't know how that happened. Alright, so now we gotta see what's marked off. We have this island, the, like, church island, and the other two, which I think are the statues we need to light. The problem is, I don't know how to light them. Didn't it have something to do with, like, the, the cult dude or something? Kinda. Like, they want me to dredge the waters around here for stuff, but... The stuff that they want, I'm not entirely sure if it's here or elsewhere. By that I mean like if I can get it. Cause I think one of the things they want is for me to light the, the three statues. I think that's what three of these markings are. But I don't know how to light a statue. Oh, that's mama. Oh, that's fucking mama. God damn it. Thank God she, she bit me once and then left. Hopefully she keeps leaving. I do have banish, yeah. Hold on. I'm, I'm just fishing right now. All right, that's it. She won't leave me alone. Where is it? Banish. Plate, how lovely. Uh oh. Ship is dashed to pieces. Wait a minute, how many times did I get hit? Okay, so this... Okay, we didn't lose too much time. This is just before I put out my trawl net. Rip boat, right? I'm actually really sad, too, because I don't know where... They're expecting me to get... Because I think it's supposed to be sparkly treasure. But the problem is... Oh my god, of course I just managed to... Do that. But yeah, point is... Is that I think... There's supposed to be like some golden stuff in the water. Kind of like with that tablet. But I don't know where they are. And I know I at least need one more tablet. So that should look identical. Let me go fix that damage I just did. You have to go to the most first place ever. One that no sane man would ever tread. New Jersey. No, the Apple Store. Right, the Apple Store. For the tablet.
Oh yeah, you know it's something I forgot to mention. Uh, we, I think, hit the follow goal for Dead Space 3. So if that is the case, then I got a plan. I guess after Dredge or just one of the days, I got to plan a day for Dead Space so I can get through two and then we can do three. But I guess that's gonna, that's gonna have to happen sooner than later. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna say that was pretty sick. There's so many goals you gotta do. Well, not as many as like when Carocon was going around. Well, I mean, yeah. But like, yeah, I mean, we have the 24 hour stream on Saturday. And then we have, I mean, that's really it. We have stuff that we're looking like, you know, trying to work forward to like, uh, like, um, game night. Well, didn't you complete, uh, Doug Dick's Toad as well? Yeah, I have it. I have it. We just got to install you it. Have it. Yep. Yeah. I have it. Did I not send it to you? I thought I did. You did, yeah. Okay, then, yeah. We just got to implement it, really. Um, so... Well, I'm just saying that, you know, that's one of the ones that got done. Yes, and we got to implement that. You are right. It, I think the biggest thing is we got to figure out how we want to do it and then go from there. The Twitch plays code should be pretty, you know, should be pretty, like, easy to install first and foremost. Yeah. Which, I mean, I think it'd be really funny because I want to do Twitch plays, but you need to have people for that. So I would have to have, like, a dedicated group of people that would be willing to just sit and and type in stuff collectively. You know, with no... And just, you know, have, like, a... It'd basically be, like, real podcast hours at first until we uh, actually got people that were willing to do it. Otherwise, they would just be sitting there. Yeah. All right, I'm putting the boy back away. Okay, I guess I'm just gonna... I guess I'm just gonna keep rocking around until I find something. Because this place isn't massive, and we can't go up anywhere. Oh? Nope, that's just splashy water. I thought that was sparkly. Wait a minute. Of course that's where the freaking mom is. I think there was something we needed to see in there. Oh, she coming. It was just a whole lot of nothing, apparently. No. 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 Vanish. Get the fuck out of here. Ooh, that was close. That was close. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's the stone that hums quietly. Well, at least it's polite about its humming. <laughs> yes, I would really hate it if it was loudly humming. If anything, though, that would be like... It'd be interesting if a stone itself could vibrate so hard that it made noise. I would be very scared if that was ever located. It'd be like if you found the fish that looked just like Ted Bundy. I'd just blow my fucking brains out. Any sane marine biologist would. No, 
not this time. Don't make me go back. I'm gonna go. Oh shh. Okay, we're good. Is this the is this the garbage I need? Probably not though. What the fuck? A sextant? Sick. If only it really mattered if we had one of those or not. I mean, you can use a sextant, so. Oh my god. Think, think of all the pun potential. Uh, yeah, sure, but I don't have any, like, first mate or anything, so, like, it's, it's just, I don't know, it'd just be me making those jokes to myself. So, have y'all won any of the giant plushes from the, uh, uh, gambling? No. You wanna come see how giant they are? Uh, sure. Come to my house. So you say, okay. every, so you guys are saying it's gambling. Do you have to pay to get in? No. no. Oh, okay. Then it's not that bad. So the first, the first thing you do is you have to win a bunch of the hot pot games, which don't cost real money or anything like that, but you do win money. So it's like gambling if you have to get, like actually gamble. Yeah. So like not at all gambling. It's like, imagine if you went to a casino to play poker, um, but and you didn't just, have to like, pay up front, and they just gave yeah. you money. Yeah, they just gave you Even if you lost. To play with. Yeah. Ooh, $4,000. Uh, Okay, so this talks about the piranhas and their mother. This talks about the magma, like the little uh, volcanic vents that we've been seeing, mm -hmm. telling us that those disperse them. The carving is of a large fish with crossed out eyes. The unseeing mother. Oh, 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 okay, okay, okay. So that's just talking about the mom then. So these are just warnings about the thing that's up ahead, which not great, but still. Also, I have no idea how to visit your house. Uh, I don't know how to help you. Oh, okay. I went to the tour board, but I couldn't find yours in specific. So we need to find the three shrines of the deep. Oh, They're scattered not far from here. I don't... I don't get this. I'm to prepare the ritual. I need to light the stone crucibles around the temple with the three fathomless flames. Where do you get a fathomless flame? <laughs> you will receive further illumination at the three shrines of the deep. They are scattered about not far from here. I guess I'll be looking for those. Oh, hang on. I just, let me catch up with chat here. All right. I got the codes for 10 $10 packs. First 10 people to join, get them. Everyone else has to buy their own way. True. That's fair. And I don't, th you might even have leftovers at that point. Um, if you were, then you'll figure out what to do with the codes. Yeah. And we can always try to like give them away or something. Um, or, you know, you could use them for you. Oh, it was the other okay. board. I found it. So we gotta find the fathomless flames then. Let's go find those shrines. See, I think, I think that the shrines are these things. Oh my God. Yeah. This is the normal size of the plush. Wait a minute. Oh my God. If it's this one of those buildings was definitely shrine-esque in the <laughs> back. We should definitely check it. It was near some of the piranha. So we might need to banish whenever we go check it out. The Kitsune has made it home. Oh my goodness. Hyperclap, welcome home. Man, this just looks more organized than mine. <laughs> I like things in, like, where they go. I just throw stuff wherever. And then my brain learns that that's where that is, and so it can never be moved. Ah. Never. 
Okay. Oh, no. Twin prop is disabled. It's always the twin prop that goes first. Why? I don't know. Is it, is it bigger than the other one? Okay, there's... There's a temple here. I think this might be what they're talking about. And there's one of the stones that hums when you touch it. But I still don't know what that means. Don't go burr. I mean, it do go burr, yeah. Maybe you have to come back to it. Maybe it's lonely and it just wants someone to do music well, with. Well, no, I think that, like, that's why we're here, is to figure this out. I wonder if I move at the farm plot if it deletes the stuff in it. It does yeah, not I'm... if you do it with H. Okay. Also, haha, bonjour, I live. Hello? Uh -huh. DiGiorno to you too. You missed out on the cat cam. You did. Yeah. Oh, but you could come see my hat to my house and see what a giant plushie looks like. Ooh, where'd you get a giant plushie? The the wheel. Oh, Dumba. We did by the wheel, we die by the wheel. Was there even a cat in the cat cam? Yeah. Yes. There was like Look. a cryptid picture of a cat. I was gonna say he cam. he's he's sleeping on the little he's sleeping on the little uh cushion on the floor, not like the cat bed. Oh, but like he still showed up on the camera? Yeah. Yeah. That's cute. A little orange circle. Do it again. Do it again. <laughs> Do it again. <laughs> Alright, hold on. Let me dock real quick. Oh, so I gotta find out where to- I'm gonna figure out where to get these fathomless flames real quick, because that's gonna be- It's very cryptic. Well, you see- Oh, you, you wanna look it up for me? Okay. Well, I was gonna say, you'd have to fathom the flames. Also, yeah, I got you. Oh, sweet, cool, thank you. <laughs> All right. Don't worry. If, if, there he is. If you have questions, you just just say things. I'll answer them. Baby. Yeah, he's actually up now. But no, I told you all we had to do was put drugs there and they'd sit there again. Honestly, it's it's so stupid, but like now we know we can't vacuum that cushion ever again and that makes me mad we because- can. We just had to reapply the <laughs> you drugs. Reapply drugs. You have to buy more drugs. <laughs> That's stupid. I mean, but like it would work probably, so. Uh, they can be acquired by solving the Shrines of the Deep. Yeah, okay, I gotta figure out where the fuck those are then, because I was just looking for those. Which are located in the Devil's Spine and are marked on the map by the Fanatic. See, that's what I thought. So I've been going to those. So what do you what do you do with those to get that? Um. What? Those are the ones that you got to place the specific fish into. It's those. Yes. Oh, so you've done one of them. I've done one, yes, which is weird because I have no wait, no, no, definitely not because uh, then I would have a fathomless flame. So did the one, the, the one we, we, we did, we did the cod one, but the cod one's not here. Oh, didn't you have the one, but you put like the wrong crab into it, or is that a different one? That's for uh, paint. That's for a paint job. That's the normal. Ah, uh, that's the paint. Yeah. There's one big ass boy. I know. Do you know how to give people things? No. I don't want them. Oh, I think, um, you can only request, like, craftables. I don't know if you can just gift people. Random oh. shit. That's like yeah. It. Oh, no. Well, I mean, you gotta remember, the game only just <laughs> recently, like, fully released. Bob is, like, yeah. cursed. Actually, I think it's still in beta. <laughs> he is gone, Bob. That's okay. I got to see him. That's true. It's just about the memories we made along the way. Uh, I remember that memory that we made. You must purchase more land, Milo. Yes, I know. Why? Oh, just cuz. <laughs> oh. Man. I'm gonna have to find a way to, like, hide my house from you guys, because I have no land. 
probably don't even have a house. I have a house. Mm-hmm. It's full of all my possessions. It's empty. I have a house. It's empty. But nah, I was waiting to buy more land until I got the better axe. That's valid. I just... Who needs land when you live in the sea? But you don't. My love, my life, and my lady is the sea. <laughs> yeah, but you don't live in it. <laughs> well, time to fish. Yep. Uh, actually... I need, I need to get me another Cerveza Cristal. Cerveza Cristal. But yeah, um... Okay, let me go grab a drink, and then we'll get, I guess, onto the, uh... The temples, which is weird. So there are shrines. They're called shrines, right? Not temples, because if they're yeah, te okay, the shrines gonna, of the deep. I was gonna say, because the temple. If it was a temple, then I'd be like, we're looking for a building. But yeah, I'll go find those shrines at the markers, and then I guess take note of what fish we need, and then suffer. That's yep. rough, buddy. You stare into the fish, and the fish stare back. I do really like how close you can put objects to other objects where they can like group together nicely though. Well, I, yeah. I really like that it's like a, a tile system, but there's big yes. tiles and small tiles. Like yes. each big tile is made up of like, I don't know, 25 or I think more small tiles. I don't know, I didn't count. You should come visit my house, Milo. Okay. Let me put this giant flush away. Now I gotta go visit the mill. Uh, how do I visit your house? The blue, uh, sign by the gate where you leave your house. Oh, okay. There's four more minutes until, uh, chicken wings. Oh, your house is nice looking. I didn't know you could paint the outside. Yeah. Oh, I didn't even actually know you could sit on things. Yeah. That's nice. Garden. Yes. All my carrots. You should look inside. There's stuff in there too. Okay. That's nice you can help people water your water their shit. Oh yeah, thank god. For real. Oh you have also a bed, nice. You guys are so silly. Having stuff inside your houses? Why? I shake my head you're at you. Oh, you have so much more room if you don't have stuff in your houses. <laughs> but yeah, I need to uh, get the oven. Yeah. You're an oven? Yeah. Yeah. Well, for the oven, you have to make the oven and the prep station. Mm. But, uh... If you go into some people's houses, you can sometimes find recipes in their house that you can just take. Hmm. I have a potato soup recipe and like... Oh, I need that. Yeah, no, you just go into people's houses and sometimes there's a blue book just kind of like laying around in their kitchen and you can take it. Well, you see, I made, I got all these potatoes uh, and it wouldn't, the game wouldn't let me eat them raw. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I, I had to sell them. Uh, and then buy food with the money I sold my potatoes for. <laughs> because I couldn't Clean. just eat my potatoes and I didn't know how to cook potato. Which is like really <laughs> easy to cook a potato. Yeah, I know, you just put it in the oven, but you don't have one, so... I have a campfire. Oh yeah, and then I'm building a windmill, but I need more, uh, fabric. If you have any on you, you can donate to my building cause. Uh, how do I do that? And where? Over here. Oh, okay. Uh, the sign. The little construction sign. Man, we're playing different oh, I have games. Two. Sick! So you just, uh, right pull on yeah. the toggle and then hit confirm. Yeah. Thank you! And we you did your house. Beautiful. Beautiful. Love to see it. You've got cat tails. Oh, a little goat, too. He's really got a wonky eye. 
So it's no, off from a goat with a wonky eye? Goat with a wonky eye. Oh, but yeah, I got cattails. I have a bunch of like, uh, little colorful flowers, but that's about it. Yeah. I don't know how I got all my little random plants, but I got them and then I planted them because I'm like, heh <laughs> we love wildlife. You get them from bugs. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. I have like six wooden chests just scattered around the place. You're a fucking maniac. <laughs> <laughs> I put them in the places that I felt like I needed the wooden chests, like inside the house and like one next to the crafting stuff and the rest go into the tent. Oh, so yeah. I grouped up in one area because I I only work in the one area. <laughs> Mine was in need, the tent. I just need more space. Oh, Milo, did you see my little fat little glow bug under the umbrella? Yes, I did. I love him. <laughs> <laughs> He's just a chunky little guy. And then I put my Mothman Stingray on the shelf. Nice. I haven't gotten a fancy one of those yet. Yeah. But yeah, I love my little decor. My little shack is becoming a home. <laughs> Bob's gonna make this crack house a crack home. I have mildly, I have mildly fucked up. Oh no. Yeah, I put the boy in my lap thinking he'd leave. He's not leaving. Oh, oh wait, <laughs> he's leaving. We're good. Legally, you can't move. No, like, exactly. I couldn't. I was trapped. That's why I was like, uh-oh. I'm in it deep now, you gang. You gang, I'm fucking out of it right now. Oh wait, I almost <laughs> forgot. <laughs> Where? All right. <sighs> Time to go see what they want. Actually, you know what? Fuck it, I'm sleeping first. They can't stop me. What are they gonna do? Tell me no? They could kill you in your sleep. They could try. Honestly, I don't think anyone could kill me in my sleep unless you, like, shoot me with no prior noise because I will wake up to a feather falling. Hmm. I mean, I don't know, this isn't that difficult. Oh, shoot shit. someone who's sleeping? Definitely did not mean to do it like that. Okay, we are facing one of the shrines, like, right now. We gotta go find it. Oh, I see it. It's right there. Okay, yep, yep. Okay, I know what they look like now. I meant to haste away, but instead I used the... thing. Okay, good. Volcanic vents are good. Perfect. A malformed... Two malformed fish writhing under the sun. What a cursed thing to say. But like, what does that mean? <laughs> They're malformed the fish. Thing, there's some sort of puzzle here. <laughs> Big gamba time. No, no, no. Early See, because like, my, my problem is right now is that I don't know what the fuck that means. <laughs> I don't know, probably just slap two fish that are, like, malformed. I- I really hope it doesn't mean... to ju like, it could be... I would like it if it was just two fucked up fish, but I- I really don't think it's just two fucked up fish. Well, there's one fucked up fish. Damn it, there's- fish, Oh god, fish. nope. Fucked up fish, blue fish. Fuck, 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 manifest, go. I'm manifesting my destiny! <laughs> Man- Oh no. Uh, oh, uh, 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 if you want to just season them a little and do the normal you can, or if you want to do teriyaki, it's up to you. Also, I think the game is too far away. I'll never make it in time. I love you too, honey. It's literally just now 6 and they close at 3 a.m. I don't want to fucking hear it. <laughs> okay, so... It's a thousand meters. How- how hard does that thing hit? Oh my god, no wonder I was dying fast. 
she does three hits of damage. Wow. Mama Piranha hurts. I feel like I could see Milo romancing Jill or the weird lady in the woods. I don't know who you mean by the weird lady in the woods. It was Bob I in high know. school. What? The weird that was your nickname in high school. I was not the weird lady in the woods. You were nicknamed it. No. Well, actual weird status. You know, kids are just cruel. I don't. You know, I don't think you were actually weird. It's okay that you no. lived in those woods, though. I did not live in the woods. The only nickname I got was Gur because I gave like I had horrendous resting bitch face, and I still do. Oh, Gur like G R R. Yeah, like Gur. That's <laughs> really funny, actually. The only nicknames I ever had, and no one's gonna fucking believe me on the second one. Well, three are Caro, Spade, and then the Drift King. He didn't know. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 I shit you not. Out of my friend group, I was the one that was the best at the racing games. And so that was like, when, when Tokyo Drift came out, I feel like 10,000 people got that nickname. It's not just RT game. But yeah, it's just one of those things. It ended up, it would, did not last long. We're talking cut out throughout middle school, you know? But for yeah. a while, especially when Most Wanted was hot, that's that's definitely what it was like. I've had like one nickname, and I think we all know what that is, so I don't have to mention it. What? I just think about it. Enormous <laughs> zebra. Is it easy? It, it's easy, yeah. <laughs> that's crazy. I never would have guessed that. I know. Oh, and I guess Daryl, too. I don't know if that counts as a nickname. Wait, or... hold on. Hang on. Now you gotta explain that. Why were they calling you Daryl? I've told this story so many times, and I'll tell it again. I love telling this story. Okay, go ahead. Okay, so my freshman year of high school, halfway through the semester, there was a kid who transferred over from a different school. Uh, he, w he knew some of the other kids, but we had just met. So I was going to introduce it like him to myself after we had class together. Um, and he's talking to a friend of mine who he was also friends with. Uh, and I'm like, oh, my name is... And my friend oh. cuts him off and jokingly says, Daryl. I remember this story. Yes. And so for the next two weeks, he thought I was my name was actually Daryl. And yeah. we had like four classes together where we sat next to each other. <laughs> and there was no one... Named Daryl. At all. By the yeah. way, I'd like to point out that this, like, he's back in his spot now. I don't know how he knew that the cameras were off. It's kind of crazy. <laughs> he's marked the place. He's marked all the cameras. Well, I'd hope not, because that means that in, in what that means is that he, he pissed peed. on them. <laughs> <laughs> no, marked in the other way. Sure he did. <laughs> Reveal him to me. Okay, there definitely should be like an aberrated version at this point. My demands fall on deaf ears. Now, if you keep doing that, I'm gonna have to lose all my money to you again for more cat checks. Yes. Oh, wait, my <laughs> nickname is Shrimp. What? What? This is what Glob said. Oh. I'm guessing that's ironic. I have no idea. Also, yeah, I would assume. Also, uh, it has to be ironic, but also, um, wait, you just did that, Bob? Yes, reveal him to me. Oh, okay, hold on, hold on. Let me finish selling this fish. Oh. Or wait, hang on. Just... There. Ah! There he is. She needs, she needs to see okay. the cat now. <laughs> I, w I was gonna go on a BRB screen soon, but I, I guess I'll go throw you, this. You could totally go on BRB screen and just make the BRB screen the cat. Uh, well, I was gonna say, if anything, I'll just like, I could just, I don't know, I guess I could just import the scene. I'll figure something out. Oh, it's late as shit. I should have slept. Also, I'm at the gambit. 
I don't see you here, Bob. No, I'm at the Gamba. Hmm. Right. Oh, maybe it's because it broke and it says I'm no longer in the party. Your name oh. in Spanish is Shrimp? Oh, yeah. I think I remember you telling me about that. <laughs> shrimp. Are you saying Glob fi fried this rice? Yeah. <laughs> Man, that's impressive. Glob ain't even here. Like here is in, you know, where I am. Yeah. If you make fried rice, that means a shrimp, like, shrimp did fry this rice! Oh my god, my fish rotted. Damn. Huh. That's it. That's I'm BRBing. I'm BRBing. Uh, excuse you? Cutting in fucking line? Damn. Wow! Piece of shit! Ban him from the <laughs> server! Who even does that? Okay, let me get situated here. It's weird that down here in the underground, the skins on your, like, stuff isn't there. It the should be. On... Yeah, as you say. Don't go to the underground, they'll steal your skin. No, my skidneys! They stole my tool skins. All right, I mean, oh, geez. all right. How the hell am I gonna get back into this business here? Yes. But yes. Well, no, because it's like I gotta find aberrated fish and uh, duh. You can do that. There's piranhas. They're from the yeah. Amazon. Just like hit them. You can't just hit them. Why? Because they are it's immune to hitting. Mm. So what if you just like catch them? We cannot catch them. They are here. T so the the baby piranhas don't do shit, but Mama Piranha does three ticks of damage per hit, and I only have six. Mm. If only you had like a harpoon. Yeah, as far as I know, there's no such thing. I mean, harpoons can fix any problem in life. Any problem? I mean, hey, well, things that Ahab would okay, say. Okay, uh, what about, uh, I don't know, like, infertility? I was gonna say, what about ED? Harpoon. ED. ED and, uh... <laughs> so you would fix ED with a harpoon? I think you could. Well, so, explain that. Well... You ever heard of a strap? Well... <laughs> Let me That's tell you a... of a little movie called Seven Deadly Sins. <laughs> or not Seven Deadly Sins, Seven. That's what it's called. Oh no, the whole she's damaged. Ooh, right. a potato crop came in. No, I did it again. Fuck, I'm so bad at piloting. All right, let's see if this works. Okay. Yeah, if you think about it, harpoon. I guess we'll see if we can find another aberrated fish and put it there. I got well, milk and butter from the prize wheel. Nice. Uh oh. Ooh, you could make a sauce. Yeah, I could make nothing right now because I don't own an oven. My first reaction was to go, ha ha, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we're good. We're good. The volcanic vents are our friends. No, they're not. Uh, yeah, they are. They scare away the piranhas. So saith the ancient Whoa. texts. 
or art thou an unbeliever? Uh, the second option. A non-believer. Shun be ye. The way of the sea is the one true, says ye. And you know, I hate to break it to you. If it scares off the fish, it's bad, because fish are friends. Uh, this particular fish wants to make you Not breakfast. Not friendly. Hmm. Uh, disagree. Some fish can be friends. Others are food. I uh, like sushi. Okay, okay, but this specific fish does not wish to negotiate on friendship. Yeah, it thinks that you're food, actually. It is a terror fish. Mm, that sounds bad. It is. Have you tried talking to them about how you feel? Uh, yeah, really assert your feelings and assert some good boundaries. You know, I've been trying to. Uh, you know, I try to use, uh, fuck, what's it called? Banish every now and then, but that never works. They just end up coming right back and damaging my hole. And I tell you what, I've been through thousands of dollars of repairs at this point. Have you, have you thought that maybe you're pushing them away is a sign that you're not ready to accept them as a friend? Oh my god. No, I never thought of it that way. You think it's my actions? Because, like, I'm trying to push I them away, Dr. Dipshit. <laughs> also, please. I don't have a medical degree. It's a Mr. Dipshit. Could, could you, could, no, could you imagine? Could, could you imagine mid, mid fucking thing? Dr. Phil's like, please, Mr. Phil, I don't have my doctorate anymore. <laughs> so, anyway, that's how I lost my medical license. Are they tiny eels? Uh, no. Um, they're piranhas. And then a big mama piranha, assuming that's what you're talking about. Piranha. And then aberrated fish can be kind of anything. It just get like a rare chance for it to be fucked up. And you'll know if it's fucked up because it'll have a purple border. And then we can test our experiment. It's not ominous. Well, it's ominous, but like for a good reason. Because like I don't. Well, I don't think anything could prepare the world for whatever fucking genetic mutation shit's going on with these fish. Man, I want to be genetically modified. Uh, hmm. You I sure about that? GMOs. I would like to order a pair of wings. <laughs> um, I like how you immediately and... hit it up like it's a fucking, like, a bar. <laughs> like, hey, how's it going, champion? Um, can I get a, uh, oh, mm, let me get a... Uh, I would also like gills, because I feel like it'd be yeah, sick. Yeah, no, for real. Gills would be a fucking pop. Um, ooh, and then at that point, if I have gills, I would want, uh, uh, webbed, uh, fingies and tootsies. Oh, I see. Because that's a real medical uh, condition, but I'd want it with the gills. What are eel ings? Are they tiny eels? Probably, if I had to guess. Yeah, I did miss a message. My bad. But yeah, I don't know. Uh -huh. I, I didn't really pay attention to getting eelings. If it's something I catch, then yeah, it's probably just like a baby, baby eel. Uh, I think Love was making a pun off of feelings. Eelings. See, okay, see, I was gonna say, I was thinking that as well, but I don't know. I wasn't paying attention to anything I was catching. <laughs> I, I'm out here, I got a drink open, and I'm fishing. That is, negative uh... Negative eelings. Negative eelings. Ooh, I would also like a retractable mermaid tail, like H two O. Retract <laughs> retractable. Like, yeah, but then you can't take showers anymore. Okay, hang I on, hang on, hang on. Bath. Define <laughs> retractable because I H two O, right? No. So okay. they retractable. Yes. So like she gets wet, like she's a mermaid. Of course she would. Her, and then. Yeah, water gets on her and the legs go away and she gets a mermaid tail. Well, but that's not yeah, is yeah. it would that is that classified as retractable or just like I don't know. I feel like it's retractable. Look, look, enough. look. You know how cats have retractable claws? I'm figuring that you're saying that like it's <laughs> like that and that the mermaid body just like shuffles up inside her, you know? No, 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 no. No, nah, she gets a little soggy and it's a whole thing and she has to run away and uh flop on the floor cuz the tail shows Hold up. up. Yeah, I gotta so dispel if you got these rained bastards. on, though, but, like, that would suck. Umbrella. Yeah, but, like, you're gonna get a little wet. Um, I would like the... Uh, what the fuck's that other one? Um, then that random Barbie movie where she could choose to have a tail, but she oh, was a yeah. surfer. 
I want it's like a what? transformation. You know, I've yes. seen I've seen Ted Nevison's whole Barbie Hive Mind theory video, and I do not even remember that movie. It was, in fact, in his Hive Mind video. I am I am certain it was, but I it just was. that shit was just a it flashbang the, to the frontal cortex. It had the uh, some of the not the elephant because that was a different one, but like the uh, the stupid like sea turtle. I think it was. No, 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 no. That was Barbie Mariposa, where she then uh, went and met the mermaids, and the mermaids and the stupid turtle. Oh uh, yeah, underwater. here we go. Heated okay, Barbie okay. debate. <laughs> Just but what no. everyone wants. I think when it comes to genet being genetically modified, though, I think I'd much prefer levitation powers as to wings. Okay, okay, okay. See, levitation would be cool as long as you can control it, because I think that it would be one of those situations where if you're not mentally sound, you would just, like, fall up forever and die. Um, <laughs> right, right. I would... I would prefer teleportation over levitation. Look, wings are a massive like I love the idea of having wings, right? But the thing yeah, is, and here's well, to, hang like, on. The wings. Well, the, so see, I was no, see, before? I was gonna say no, 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 I know, I know. If you well, and not only that, but you, we would also have to, uh, uh, what was what was it called? You would also have to like you'd probably molt realistically if you yeah. had if you had wings. I'm not prepared to do whatever molting well, would be. Like I'm hardly willing. What to if you had wax wings? Well, then, well we then, we all know what the problem. To, then we all know. No, no, no! Do don't it. entertain him, honey. Honey, don't entertain him. <laughs> just, just walk past. <laughs> <laughs> Treating me like a crack addict. <laughs> <laughs> I would be okay with like preening and taking care of wings. But yeah. like, I would. I feel like I would want to be like a bird, like with bird characteristics, where it's like, "Fuck off! I see shiny. Get out my nest." <laughs> You're already like that. Okay, but like that. Exactly. I just okay, need the wings. But, but Bob, you, I know that you say oh, this wouldn't have a point because you'd be flying. But like, there's a few things you wouldn't be able to do if you were like perpetually, you know, gonna be going after stuff that's shiny. Like, obviously, you wouldn't need to drive, but you wouldn't be able to either way. And then, uh... I feel like if there was... Okay, so I feel like if there was genetically modified people where, like, wings was an option, they would make car adaptations. What? You don't think you don't think cars would be shiny for the sake of... No, I mean, definitely not here in America. <laughs> I feel like you would have to... No, definitely not here. Like, you would have to pay for it, but, like, it could happen. Pay for it, literally. You would I have to do you... so, so much lobbying and shit like that just to get people on board. Because people initially, people would be like, why the fuck should we uh, g give up our shiny because those feathered freaks want to be able to drive cars? <laughs> What's you wrong with flying? You, you know, you know it'd, be, it'd be a whole new thing of bigotry. People would be like, stay yeah, in the sure. air where you belong, Sky Dweller. I would throw shit at people. You know, Not no, 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 no. If you're, well, because if you're a bird, you wouldn't throw the shit. You would just shit on them. And then you'd no, be arrested for a felony. I would, would be butt-ass naked in the sky, <laughs> and I wouldn't do that. If you're butt-ass naked <laughs> and in human form, would your cheeks not slap together? <laughs> these, are the thing, these are the things that you have to think about, you know? Well, I would not fly around butt-ass naked, so... It wouldn't be a problem. Not even like once, though. The no. biggest problem with having wings would be bumping into things uh, any time you turn around. Yeah, well, because you could probably fold them in, but yeah, you would suddenly have like... Okay, did you, like, you know that uh, if you really want to get somebody, move something that they walk next to really closely by like an inch towards their path, and they will bump into it a shit ton of times and not understand why. Because to their perception, nothing has changed, right? And in, like you're so used to stuff like that, that like once something new enters your path like if like if you've ever constantly stubbed your toe on something like that you just have in the hallway it's because it wasn't there before and you're not paying attention you know um well i mean if you had wings you would be able to feel them it'd well, be like your you would no no you like would you would but, but if you didn't have wings and then you suddenly had wings there'd be a time period in which you got used to suddenly having the extra depth on your back because then you'd be bumping into things you'd be like trying to scoot by and you'd be that like a little bit thicker than normal. It would last a little. Yeah, well, oh, hang on. A month for some people. It would take a freaking loser. <laughs> look, you look. You say that, but like, also, you can't. You can't just say that it's like a, a certain thing. I mean, some kids are potty trained earlier than others. It just happens when it happens, right? It's just like a natural thing. Yeah, but like once you're an adult, it's easier to like train habits. Right, we're right, not talking well, about like potty training a child. Right, true. No, no, no. But what I'm saying is, like, at first, like, you'd have that bit, but like potty training a child, you would, like, people would get over it at different rates. It just depends on 
on how conscious you are of like being like, oh, well, now I have a set of wings on my back. I got to be careful, you know? I'm not even conscious about the limbs I already have, so I would just knock shit over. I well, but care. okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You do you, boo. You do you. <laughs> if you want to be bumping shit, falling over, you do that. You gotta say, though, but I think uh, <laughs> stretching with a pair of wings would just feel fantastic. Oh, Look, yeah. Okay, okay, it has to, right? But you better not do that where anything expensive is. China shops? No. Museums? Absolutely not. No, those yeah, are the exclusive places. How often are you going to museums go? and China shops and then right. stretching? Uh, according to what I've seen on like cartoons and media, apparently people used to do it all the time, and, and we don't because we just have Amazon. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, yeah, cartoons and media, the ultimate source. Yeah, yeah, the ultimate unbiased, never propagandized source. <laughs> Everyone knows that all cartoons are completely pure. But yeah, okay. Um, I gotta do more fucking fishing. God, these I fucking hate these piranhas. Piranhas can suck a fucking testicle. Just one? You would not want to. Why would you want to do that? A piranha? I, I wouldn't. And I didn't say mine. I said A. <laughs> well, like, so, like, how would that work, though? Because they don't really have lips. <laughs> <laughs> They're just kind of, like, mouth and teeth. I mean, uh, I mean, first of all, I have seen piranhas at an aquarium, so I can verify they are just mouths with teeth. It is kind of crazy, but like someone, the guy from the guy from Human Centipede would be wanting to stick his dick in a blender like that. Yeah, uh. but I mean, like, how would they even achieve suction? Would it be their teeth just magically clamped together? Well, I imagine you just like, like have a popsicle stick and then just like a you know, one, two, three, go kind of situation. What, like a ripcord? What the fuck? <laughs> no, well, I mean, kind of, yeah. So, like, you know, you, you have to prop it open, and then, and then one, two, three, go. Yeah, but that wouldn't be, like, slurping. That would be munch. Yeah. That's a completely different scenario. I mean, you got to realize, like, you're, you, you, I mean, what do you want from me? Like, it's one of those things you're trying to get head from a piranha. <laughs> Yeah, but you know, like there, there has to be said, there has to be appeal. For, there has to be the appeal for that. Otherwise, just don't stick your dick in the piranha's listen, mouth. Listen, you you said that they could suck a testicle. Yeah, but that would require them to have the ability to suck. I mean, okay, hang on, hang on. You know what? I got this. I got this. Okay, Google, can piranhas suck? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean you don't understand? Oh, I fucking hate her so much. <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean you don't understand? Why did you understand that? <laughs> what do you mean you don't understand? <laughs> By Damn the way, I got the flame. Let's go. Oh, it nice. is it is just any aberrated fish. Okay, so let's let's get the fuck out of here. And then we'll go light the We'll go light the little island thing. Oh, it's... Okay, that's over there. We'll go this way. I don't know what the talisman was for, though. We'll have to go look at that. May I chill and chat with y'all? Yeah, sure. Um... Yeah, no, they're playing Palia. I'm playing Dredge. We're just ch talking. It's a real podcast hours right now. Hi, Nova. Hello. What's up? All right. Fathomless flame. Let's go. Oh, I'm so excited for that. Okay, so I'm what does this talisman do? Fishing speed 300% and an aberration bonus? Damn. Ooh, more fish. Per fish. What the shit? What the hell? Okay, so let's see. But where do you put oh this? Head. You put it here? That's my leader depth thing, too. Oh, you can install it here instead of a trawling net. Sick. I didn't want the net right now anyways. Yeah. All right. So let's let's sleep and then we'll go to the island and put the flame in and then go get the rest of the flames. Oh, that's so exciting. I'm glad we figured that out because like I saw those and it, it was too vague and it's and like at least it was literally like just vague because it's like just give me any two fish but that just seemed too good to be true this whole game has been us getting specific fish 
Yeah. Well, I mean, this fiction game. No, I know. That's why I didn't believe it at first. I'm like, right, but what's the catch? <laughs> the fish. You have to catch them. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> fuck you. I mean, fuck me. That was funny. Ah. I wonder if that works with dredging, uh, too. True. Um, it. You know what? That's fair, because you would hope it would, but I, I don't know. They've, if I had to guess, probably two different things. Give me the fathomless flame. Ooh, it's all pretty. It's like Wind Waker fire. Fire that looks like that. Mwah, mwah. Don't do that to the fire. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Ow. All right. So we have two I more to get. Doing this. So I am just going to fish like a fucking insane person, get as much purple as I can, and then just start giving it out. And I didn't. I don't have a. I don't have a really good, really good uh, reference for for giving it out. I mean, unless you want to be like a oh. hooker, then you oh. could give it out. Also, I hit Frank banish. And I that sucks. It in, a fucking fish went to bike. Oh uh, wait, what are you playing, Nova? Fishing planet. Fishing planet. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here. Let's check out the dredging real quick. I'm in Texas. It. Ah, uh, hang on. If I'm better at it. No, it's definitely not. It's the same speed. Nope. I don't need any more wood. I have plenty in storage. Okay, so... Wait. So it's the two to the right. So these two islands. This one's, I think, facing me. So we'll fish over to there. And that's also where this little dude is. The little floating dock. So we might be lucky. And just get to stay near there for a bit. And then we need, I guess, two more. Unless, ooh, we should probably go check to see if they require the same thing. They might just require different things. They probably require different things. I hope not. I don't have different things. But why would they all require the same thing? Well, the first one was vague, so I'm hoping the rest will. Well, they might be vague, but they're going to be like... Probably Two heavily things. plated creatures. Fuck, they're crabs. God damn it, they're fucking crabs. Why do they have to be crabs? <laughs> I hope these... Last time I checked, you if, were a champion crabs. If, if, if these crabs aren't at this island, I'm gonna be so mad because all the crabs look the same silhouette-wise and I don't know how to distinguish which ones I need. You want crabs? You want crabs with the medium legs, the long legs, the long legs, or the medium legs? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. How hard is that? I checked and listed the games of Safer's Play on Roblox Day. Uh, I'll have you pick between 1 and 12 for yes. what game to play. Okay. Um, I don't know what time we'll do it. I guess it just uh, depends how late you'll be up on Saturday. Because we have a few hours of... Uh, what was it? We have a few hours of Pokemon Coliseum. And then I'm uh, that's the only thing that I wanted to start off with. Because that was my plan for this Saturday anyways. Before we hit the incentive. All right, all right, all right. Uh, I gotta take rational thought here. I think I just gotta buy more crab traps. I don't think they're anywhere near here. Nope, no crab traps. Fishmonger sell it? Mm. Yeah, Fishmonger sells it. Alright, give me that. Sucks that I have to wait for her to get more, so I'll just like get the hardy one as well. Oh. Yeah, that's it. Okay. 
Let's throw these crab traps so that way we can at least have some chance. Alright, so what does baiting do? Who knows what will turn up? Oh, lovely. That's something that we could... Well, you know what? Let's test out baiting. Goodbye. All right, where is crab trap right here? Oh, I was on it. I'm stupid. All right. Oh, it's literally just like a random chance. Nice. Two trophy fish from the lure. That's not bad. Okay, well, I just realized what time it is, uh, and so I'm going to be getting off for the night. Rip. Yeah, I checked my my time, my, my alarm, and it was like six hours until you should be up for work. And I was like, okay, that means I should be off. All right, yeah. No, okay, get some good sleep. Night. I might. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. All right, two more crab traps, and I think I'll be good for this lobster escapade I'm in. Two of them are games that can probably last the whole 24 hours if you really wanted. Wait, uh, well, I doubt it, but, you know, we'll see. I want it to be a variety of things, ideally. But yeah, what you could do is, the ones that you think will take the longest, I'd probably, like, put those later down the list. That's an odd noise. Like in the game or real life? Baby? Well, that was weird. Bonjour. It sounded like, uh... It sounded like metal scraping outside, so I was like, what the fuck? Oh. Yeah, I didn't see anything, though, so... Huh. Oh, I think that's one of the crabs, maybe. I really can't fucking tell. And that's just a snail. That's definitely useless. Rude. Uh, it's just a snail, so yeah, it's fine. But, What's it gonna do? Snail? What's it gonna do? Snither at me? <laughs> Snither. <laughs> if that's not the adequate nomenclature for snail movement, I don't wanna. I don't wanna know what the correct one is. I'm trying to catch catch fish, not frogs. I feel that. I'm trying to I catch fish, just not crabs. I a frog. Okay. Uh. So I gotta go around this way, and then I gotta hopefully... Ugh. Oh, that's right. Volcanic vents. Yay! Is this one of the crabs, your holy pot ship? It is! 
Now we just gotta get the other crab. So, I guess while we wait for that, what does the other little shrine thingy want? All right, where is it though? It's on the right hand side towards the back. Oh, gonna have Banish ready for this because we are going through Piranha Country. Oh, speak. Speaking of Piranha Country, couldn't imagine that Mama would be here. And I can't just go right, so I gotta... I gotta wait. Nope. Hole damaged. Let's go. We bouncing. There it is. Target spotted. Target acquired. Enemy spotted. I... Oh, no. They're snithering towards me. Nope. Nope. Please go away. I banish ye. Accursed. Oh, I should have just gone around the corner. That was kind of a waste. Wait. Are you shitting me? These are just two things that I fished up before. I don't even think these are... They're, they're not even aberrated. Ugh! So we need a stingray and... Fuck, what was the other one? A stingray and it's like the it's like a batfish or whatever it's called. We had just caught one earlier. Alright, it's fine. We'll be fine. Some of these might be like right here though. That's definitely not it. Oh, hey, it's the other crab. Okay, so now that we've got the other crab. Oh, you know what we should have been doing? We should have put the... Well, no, we got this on. Never mind. I was going to say, we should be trawling. What is that? Are those the majestic flat flaps? No. Oh, it's still on cooldown. That sucks. Ah, uh, we'll be alright. It's just right here. Oh, nice. It gave us a bunch of stuff. Wait, so did it give me the... It didn't give me the flame, did it? Oh, there it is. It's in storage. I was about to scream. Okay. Alright, let's That would have been bad. Yeah, it would have been. Well, it was like... I knew it gave it to me, but I was like, where did it go? It was right here. I wasn't stupid and put it in storage, right? 
<laughs> I don't know, that, that pattern of behavior just doesn't seem like me. I don't... I don't think it was that one. I think it was something else. Oh, I forgot to repair my ship. Oh, it's okay. We're just going over to, uh... That island to do some stuff and then we'll go back. Another fucking frog. Are those like not really valuable or something? They're worthless. Literally worthless? <laughs> that sucks. Oh, fuck. Also, careful if you say that out loud, they can hear you. Jesus Christ, I keep getting frogs. Ooh. Umbral Puppet. Interesting name for a crab. Okay, so now we gotta get stingrays and I guess I might as well go check out the other the other little bit of what I need. Cause it's stingray and something else. Hmm. 
The batfish, that's right, or whatever the hell they call it. It's like a batfish or a jetfish or something. It's a fish. Yeah. Oh, it would suck so much ass if the stingrays were a nighttime spawn. That just occurred to me. Ooh, that would suck. I don't want to be fishing at night, Grandpa. Oh, that's too damn bad. <laughs> you keep fishing. Uh... No, that's not it. Oh, majestic sea pancakes. Now we just gotta hope the other fish isn't like that. Oh, hey, mama. Not the good kind of mama. Not my cat, sad. Very sad. Really glad that we got the uh, upgraded engines, though. We really need that extra get up and go whenever we're being chased by the piranhas. Here to go now. Yeah, I think we can, uh, I think we can do like 75, 75 or 80 knots. It's something like that. Ah. Here is your donation of one majestic flap flap AC pancake, if you will. All right, what's this? Nope, that's not it. Nope. Oh, there's Mama again. Wants to eat your face. Thank goodness she's blind, and I can't believe I'm saying those words. Oh, nope, 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 nope. Now's not the time for lunch. Hungry little fucking shits. But they hungry. <laughs> well, that's too damn bad. Oh, wait, that's it right there. That's what we need. Bingo, bango, bongo. Hey, Macarena. Hey, Macarena. <laughs> this is Carol to base. We have a, a Macarena. All right. All right, so we got to go. Wait, did we just pass it? Where are we? No, we haven't passed it yet. Good. We can tag this on the way home. Just a quick trip through Piranha Country, so I'm gonna fucking banish. That way I don't have to deal with anything.
There we go. Oh, and it gave us metal plates that we don't need. We really should have done yeah. this earlier. We spent money on these plates. Have you, like, already fully upgraded your boat? Or yes. Like... Oh. <laughs> yes, but no achievement for it for some reason. Hmm. Does, uh, fuck you? I guess, shit. Probably. Oh shit, I almost got it up. Oh no, now is not the time. Are you sure? Yes. Is any time okay. ever the time? For no. That? Yeah. But yeah, see, and that's the problem with you, Caro. We'll see if that's too loud. I turned the volume up just a little bit. Okay, we definitely gotta make space for these because these are way better than anything else here. Time to go see what doing that third little, uh, that third little thing does. Let's see. Let me give my haste. Wait, what is this? Atrophy. Reap the corpses of any fish in your sights. Long range. When did we, I guess we just got atrophy. What? I mean, obviously I'm going to have to test that out. Does it count on the piranha? Okay, test number one on atrophy. Oh, shit. That's cool. I like that. That's neat. My fucking, my dad wishes he could do that. Now I am become death, but also, uh, I really hope that, I really hope that that works on the piranhas. That's definitely going to be my next test. All right, here we go. Statues. Middle. Fathomless flame. Preparations are complete. The fanatic awaits. What is it? The flames are lit. Ah, I can feel it. The chill of the deep touches us now. It is time. Come. You follow him up the steps of the temple. At the top is a black stone altar. Stacked high on top of the altar are layers of layers of dark, damp wood. I know I paraphrased. He draws the antique pocket watch from his robe. It sways hypnotically in the breeze. It's almost yours. May it mark the start of your journey and the end. Still holding the pocket watch with one hand, he clambers atop the pyre and raises his scroll. He begins to chant. Stand back. You are rooted to the spot. What? Uh-oh. This old man is touching my essence. The wind picks up, swirling sea spray around the altar. A cold blue flame arises from the sodden wood at his feet. Uh, I'm just going to say, um, look away. You can't. Okay. Yikes. The freezing blaze climbs his legs. His chanting continues. No pain detectable in his voice. He lifts his arms skyward. Seconds later, the inferno engulfs him. 
It rages for a moment, then abruptly dies away. A cold mist pools around the floor of the temple briefly before the wind sweeps it into the sea. No trace of the fanatic remains. The pyre is cold oh. and damp. Inspect. We found the pocket watch, which we have to bring to the man. You take the pocket watch. It's freezing cold. It vibrates in your palm. The clock hands spinning and winding wildly below the cracked surface. All right, first things first, we're going to go sell the rest of our fish so they don't expire. And then we're going to head home. And give the pocket watch to the strange old man. Oh, joy, more curses. Surprisingly, well, at least as far as we know, it wasn't a curse unless we are now the old man and we have not realized it yet. I can't wait to get my last spell. It's going to be so good. You got it a while ago from the necklace. Oh, really? Okay. I didn't realize it was from the necklace. Oh, what the fu- oh, hang on, that's on me. I fucked with something. <clears throat> I didn't even fuck with anything either. I was just like, can't- I was like, uh, looking at a scene, and then I, like, exited out, and that's all I did. That was stupid. Okay, well anyways, let's see what he has to say. You climb through the broken steps of the old mansion, the waves swelling and crashing against the basalt columns that surround you. You pause before crossing the threshold. Deliver the relic. He approaches, drawing closer with an incandescent ticking. You have the pocket watch. You take out the watch. Once its frozen hands are now inexplicably twitching- wait, hang on. Its once frozen hands are now inexplicably twitching in rhythmic struggle. Trying to f trying but failing to move onwards. You place it in front of the collector. Though it has been some decades since I last laid eyes upon this, the sound of its mechanisms have grown no less unpleasant. And with that, our collection is complete. Nice. I must admit, I'm surprised. And eh, I did not thank you. Uh, I did not think you had the determination for such a job. Now, with these five relics in our possession, only one thing remains. I suspect you know by now. Now what? It will become apparent soon enough. We must make one final voyage. This time, I will be with you. Okay. The final phase of the game, your progress will not be saved from this point onwards. Do you wish to continue? Sure. Oh my god, I didn't think we'd be finishing Dredge tonight. Right. Wow. Wow. One more time. Oh Your progress God. will not be saved from this point onwards. Are you sure you wish to continue? Yes. The relics are coming with us. We should wait for the fog to thicken. With luck, the seas will remain unaware of our intentions. I might come back in 100% this. I just don't know. I just can't... I, I want to I wanna see the conclusion of this game. I'm excited now. I didn't think we'd be here. <laughs> we should wait for the fog to thicken. With luck, the seas will remain unaware of our intentions. Waiting for the right time? <laughs> What time? The right one. 3 a.m. And we'll call Freddy Fazbear. Oh boy, 3 a.m. <laughs> now, our destination is in the open expanse of the west of Greater Marrow. It's marked on the map. We must not tarry on open waters with such significant cargo. Make haste. The Collector is aboard your vessel. Yikes. All right, good news. We got stuff, bad news. This man is gonna die so badly. So, so we just go forward, basically. I got haste equipped. 
Oh, there's a pillar of light. How could I fucking miss it? They can't catch me. I got fucking so much power behind this, baby. Except for if I get damaged, it's all going to shit. Yo, everyone's grudge. How you doing, man? It's good to see you. And thank you. I really do like this hat. I think it uh, encompasses my feelings as a fisher person. A angler. That's what I should have said. Yes. All right. The collector is here. This is the place. This is where she was taken from us. And where we cannot... You know, and where we can get at the... What? Hang on. And where we can... I don't have my glasses on. I don't to blame that. And where we can at last bring her back. Only here. And only because of what we've achieved. He opens the book and begins to read aloud. Uh-oh. To release a lost one frozen in time, he throws the pocket watch overboard. And tethered by chains into the deep, he throws the necklace overboard. Bind them to this world once more. He throws the ring overboard. Open the door to the starry heavens. He slots the key into the lock of the music box and lay the weary world to rest. He throws the music box overboard. The key is left unturned. Yeet! <laughs> Yeet! That's it. Doing pretty good, and that's a prime fishing hat right there. See, that's taste. You got taste. <laughs> yeah, literally. Can I? I can't, I can't move. What is that? I guess that's... Is that his wife? Maybe something like that? Oh, what the fuck is that in the back? Oh, what the fuck is that in the back? Oh, it's got eyes, dude. I don't like that. Damn, that thing fucking big. Oh, I don't like that it's coming out of the water. Oh, God. I think it, I think it should stay. I think we should go back where it- Wait, that's where it ends? Game. That's it? That's the end that's of the it? game? No! 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 You gotta fish it. The town is burning? Bad ending, darkness reigns? What the fuck? Like, what? I, I feel like that's probably a bad ending. Nah, like, maybe, wait. Maybe there's other endings. You know? What? It, but that would have... Uh, the only thing I would have done differently is... Um... What was it? The only thing I would have done differently is more side quests. Yeah. I know they say there's plenty of fish in the sea, but this is not what I intended. True. I'll Google it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See if there's alternate endings. I would be really sad if this is the one ending and it's just like, you um, lose. So Dredge has two endings. We got the bad ending. Um, ba -ba -ba, hold on. Ah, uh, Team 17, the mark of the beast. <laughs> You probably have to do all the side stuff for the good ending. Yeah. Which, I guess at that point, what we might do, we might do Dead Space this time next week until we're done with 2 and 3 and then come back to get the good ending in Dredge. Because I do want to make sure I get those off my plate now that we've hit the incentives for those. E. But yeah, so does it say if you have to do all the side quests? Um, there are specific side quests that you have to find and do. That sucks. I wonder, because I have all but, like, a handful of them done, so that means that I was really close to getting the true ending. Dead Space, your favorite horror game? So I played the first one, and I have not played two and three, so we're going to be doing two and three probably on Thursdays for the next few weeks. I'm just surprised we're done. I might, I might try to... It says that our progress won't be safe from that point on, so I hope what that means is that they'll drop us back, and then we can just continue like nothing happened until we're ready to rinse this again. That's what I would assume. Because then we can take like the next hour to check and do some side quests, and then we'll, uh, we'll wrap it and then do... What was it? Detroit Become Human Tomorrow, which, uh, since Vex won, which... Oh my god, I don't know if you know, Nova. You were, like, very close to to taking the month. Like, if you would have done, I, like, one or two more... Here's the thing. Yeah. I, I was... I had considered taking it, but I was also like, I don't know what the fuck I'd want her to play. That's true. That's fair. 
I um I think that Detroit Become Human is also really fun. So I I would I mean I'm fine with Kia still playing it. You know, there's a, a, we're gonna have to play it a few times. I keep killing everyone I care about on accident <laughs> or severely hurting them. The second one is the best in the series, in your opinion. Did you remember seeing the ad back in the day where it's like, your mom's gonna hate this game? And that was like the whole marketing campaign for Dead Space 2. I remember learning about that when I was at, uh, when I was in college for, for graphic design and stuff. It was in a marketing class. And they were talking about how it played on the emotional response of, uh, of, you know, like middle schooler and high schoolers because of the fact that it's like, oh, my mom's gonna hate it. That's crazy. I gotta get it now. <laughs> you don't? Oh my gosh. Yeah, it was so funny. I, I don't know why I'm the only one that remember this, uh, remembers these, but yeah, they were having like, the, I remember the commercials. It started with a bunch of mothers just being really disapproved of what they were seeing. Like, oh, revolting, despicable stuff like that, right? And, and it's just like, this is this is your mom after she sees Dead Space 2. Your mom doesn't like Dead Space 2. It was really stupid. It was effective. It was effective marketing though, especially if I had to learn about it as like a case study, I guess. Yeah. All right, let's get let's get back into this and see what we can find out. Cuz I'll go open up my quest for y'all in a second. Y'all will see it will it's pretty close to uh what's it called? It's pretty close to Dunsky's. You know something I, I don't really- I'm not a huge fan of with this what? right now. Mm. It's very realistic where they're nibbling on the fucking bait, but they're not taking the fucking hook! <laughs> right. Yeah. Oh fuck, Bite right, rotting conger eel. Bite down on the hook, you stupid fucking fish. There ought to be a few in the Gale Cliffs. Okay, we'll go get that conger eel first. That's been on our plate for a while, and Gale Cliffs sucks, so we'll see how that goes. I'm getting out of Texas. I'm not catching anything in Texas. <laughs> Lucky. <laughs> oh, so we just keep this on us. Well, at the risk of not wanting to throw it overboard, I'm gonna go put it in storage. Hmm. You know what? Let's get rid of since we don't have any more upgrades to get. Let's get rid of some of this. All right, to Gale Cliffs. It's basically the most effective opening for me. It, I was terrified, but it hooked you the first time. Really? Okay. I'm looking forward to that then, because yeah, I have pl not played uh, any of the like I you know. Playing Dead Space 1 was the first time I touched a Dead Space game, and it was the remastered one. Oh my god, and 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 some some random that came in managed to spoil uh, uh, the whole oh, ending with Nicole. Yeah, 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 oh my god, they literally spoiled it as I was like 45 minutes into the fucking game. And like, I had my suspicions, but you don't gotta spell it out for me. I might need help with my games every now and then, but I'm not, I'm not that dumb. <laughs> All right, so Gale Cliffs is to the back right, so we just gotta go over this way. Ugh. My name is stuck above me in Palia, and I don't know how to get rid of it. Shouldn't your name always be above you in games that are like MMOs? No? no? For other players, yes, but for me, no. Oh, okay. I, I guess I never really noticed if I could see my name or not. Did you uh, AFK out at any point? No. Okay, because inactivity seems to be really glitchy in that game. It might just be a, like, a bug while you hop between, like, the technical different servers, between your house and the maps. Yeah, that's what I think it is. No, wait, that's not our houseboat, friend. Or, hang on. We definitely went the wrong direction. Oh. Nah, we're just next to it. So we gotta get conger eel. I don't know if it's a day or nighttime fish. And then after conger eel, we'll immediately go turn that into whoever. 
what is this? I guess we'll see. There's no way this is an eel. This is... I don't know what this is. Sturgeon. Well, we'll sell that when we get to the merchant that's inside the city. Let's see, what is this? That's that's not a fucking eel. If I had to guess, the eels are probably on the back side. Just look for a bunch of slippery tube dudes. Oh, wait, hold up. What is this? Nope, damn it, those are sturgeons. They looked somewhat tubular. I'm so happy that we have a way to get rid of that big, uh... I don't even remember if we named it, but that big fucking thing that kept trying to eat me while I was here. What's this? <gasps> Ooh! If that isn't oh, a conger eel... Conger eel. Alright, so we they wanted a rotting conger eel, so let's... Let's catch one, and then we'll catch another. That way, if he doesn't accept a fresh one, hopefully we'll have a rotting one. Alright, so... Because, like, fish just turns to rot, so I'm assuming they're not serious about it being rotting. Pursuits. Uh, Who I needs the conger eel? infected with the yucky. A resident of Ingfell? Oh my, that's literally here. Why aren't they catching their- Oh, right, because I'm the only fisherman in this universe. <laughs> right. Oh, shit. Just keep- Just keep going. Nope, nope. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Banish. Banish, ye demon. Large Mouthicus, I command thee to stay the fuck away from me. No. What the fucking goddamn pirate ship is this? Oh! It's gone. No, wait. What? It's not gone. It's clipping through the rocks. Ghost ship? Yay. I wonder if that's a sea madness thing. The eye's green. Oh, right. The sea madness. I can't afford to wait. The Ingfell resident needs their conger eel. Alright. No, I don't need some packed explosives. This is Ingfell. Oh, Ingfell resident down there. What is it? I've got your conger eel. It's not sufficiently aged. If I take it now, the dog is sure to snatch it before it's aged fully. Please come back after it's had some time to mature. What does that mean? Oh, wait, I can just sleep here. Okay, let's wake up real quick. Let's check our conger eel. Oh, yeah. It is... Oh, condition fresh. Oh, I gotcha. Okay, so we... We gotta wait the right amount of time. Yeah. Well, because fish has only ever turned to rot in my inventory. Well, it does, uh. like, it does go bad. But, but, like, you give it to him before it's gone, like, completely bad. Yeah, no, I see it. Conditions stale. I'm assuming... I, <laughs> I'm gonna try stale, but it says rotting, so I'm gonna guess that she's gross like that. It's not sufficiently aged still. You are gross, lady. Ah, yes. If it doesn't smell like absolute death, I won't, uh, won't touch it. Won't eat the stuff. Mm. Yep. Yeah. Well, I'm having better luck with fish in New York. I've already caught two pike. Oh, there we go. One's rotting now. Thank God. Okay. Here's your disgusting fucking food, lady. Ah. Perfect! This will do wonderfully! I can offer you a small sum in thanks. Safe travels. Yeah, never talk to me again, please, and thank you. Alright. What's next on our good old map? I bet you stone tablets is what they want us to finish before we do that. Catch a blue mackerel and catch rare fish. 
Not really sure what rare would be in this case. 150 for a half rod and eel. I don't even know if that's good. I don't even know how much a regular eel sells for. I need to catch a blue mackerel and bring it back to them. Strange man on the island between Marrows and Gale Cliffs. Oh yeah, I remember. But where do you catch blue mackerel? Okay, Google. Where do you catch blue mackerel in Dredge? Shit, really? Okay, Google. Okay, Google. Up. Thank you. Alright, so. Google says the marrows. Also, go Google. So, wait, just the... Okay, it was just here the whole time. Alright, to the marrows. Where there's not an ever-present threat. Can't be mackerel. So we're looking for blue mackerel. And I think mackerel is a smaller fish. Blue mackerel, there it is. Alright, now we just gotta find where does it go? Pursuits. I need to catch blue mackerel and bring it back to them on the island between the Marrows and Gale Cliffs. That's where I came from and where I am, I guess, heading back to. Oops. Okay, so... It's just one of these islands to my left. Oh, I think that's him. Fulfill the hunger. Yes, I have the thing to fulfill your hunger. But you know that you share, like, the same body of water as these things, right? Like, you just got it yourself. With expert precision, they plunge their hands through the gullet of the fish and tear out the heart. They stuff it into their mouth unceremoniously. More. Still. Empty. They point to another shape on the second scroll. This one looks like a tiger mackerel. Great. Okay, so this one just updates this one. I wonder where the rest of these are going to be found at, because there's definitely some missing ones. Alright. Okay, Google. Where is the tiger mackerel in Dredge? Nice. Okay, Google. No, stop. No, don't. you don't have to explain it. Just tell me the answer. Thank you. You're done. It's okay. I feel like I'm so rude to Google, but she always starts explaining it. It's like, yeah, I just needed, like, the first bit. Thank you. Also, damn, they really just need me to go back to Gale Cliffs. Eat. Tiger mackerel. And also... That's not the right way. I think this is it. Tiger mackerel. Now we head back to Guy. He seems to be the mackerel god. Mackerel more. <laughs> Fuck you, I thought it was funny. I laughed. <laughs> it seems like a pity laugh. Alright, here's your next mackerel, buddy. 
Again, they rip into the flesh of the fish, pull out its heart, and, and consume it. Yep, almost fulfilled. They point to a fish on the third scroll. It's a snake mackerel. Ooh. I bet you I know where that one is. That one's probably inside the... Whatever it's called. It's probably inside the, uh... The swamp area. Oh, wait. Okay, Google. Where is the snake mackerel in Dredge? Devil's spine. Oh, okay. Okay, Google. Stop. Stop. I, I wish... Ugh, never mind. Stop. I wish that she, uh... Would remember stuff. Like, like, just, just tell me the first bit. And then, like, stop. But that's definitely just, like, before... Like, this is an ancient Google home. There's no way she'd get that. So, Devil's spine. And then I guess we'd have to get a fourth one from... Uh, we already went to the Marrows. We went to Gill Cliffs. Oh, there might be five. It's... I'd prefer not to go back to Twisted Strand, though. Speaking of... So the island that they are on is on the S of Little Marrows. Or, the Marrows. I fucked up. What happened? I broke a rod. Rip. Yeah, thankfully I've got others. So in that game, is it like, do you have to like go and buy like more after you break it or how does that work? Yeah, I'm either gonna have to buy a replacement or repair it. Oh, that sucks. So we're looking for the snake mackerel. It is long and tubular, dude. So hopefully it's just on the outskirts here because I really don't want to go in. What is that? What is that? I know that's not it. But I forgot what that is. Oh dear god. That's the frilled shark. Oh, Jesus! Oh! You thought you had me! <gasps> that was probably the closest call we've had all game. That was insane. Yeah. And only one of them, too. Usually it takes a majority of them to, like, get the, the mom's attention. Unless mom is just that close by, which I guess she was. Wait. That's not what we need, right? What is this? Nope, that's not it. I require snake mackerel. Nope. Wait, nope, that's that, that other fish. Come on. Just give me the long mackerel. Hmm. That sounded like something growling and roaring at me. <laughs> okay, where's mama? Definitely not anything ominous. No, no, yeah, you know, just just means that my giant pet piranha is somewhere nearby. Oh, majestic flat flaps. I mean, that, that does sound like something you should keep an eye on. It's your, your I, pet piranha. 
Uh, well, it's, you know, she's like a stray, really. We just take care of her. Uh, you know, it's not like I really own, own this piranha. Okay, uh, now that I've waived my legal liabilities, let's see if I can find anywhere, anywhere at all that has these mackerel. I bet you they're like inside these ruins. It's going to be ass. Ooh. Especially if I keep damaging uh, my hole. Got me another walleye. I wonder what I'm missing here, because they have to be around. Crack. Oh, right, crack. How could I forget? Yes, it's very important. But... You know, it just occurred to me, I think I'm all out of fish crack. Oh, oh how could you be all out of fish crack? Well, I thought my fishing days were over. You know, I thought that I was going to retire after I entered the world with the uh, Lovecraftian devil. What is this? This isn't it, but what is this again? I forgot. Infernal eel. Cool. All right, I'm gonna keep going around on the off chance that this eel is a, uh, or not eel, this, this mackerel is like nighttime for some reason. No. I have never tried using my foghorn in this. I am honestly kind of afraid to. Because, like, if I make my position known, what comes after me? Oh, I am so fucking insane right now. Oh, I am fucking so insane. Insane in the brain? Yes. Crazy insane. Got no brain. I don't, I don't ideally want to have to, fine, I'll sleep. You know, I first heard that front song from my uh, sixth grade math teacher. Oh, that doesn't surprise me. I mean, like, I don't remember if there was any bad words in it. I don't think there was. No. Yeah, so like, why, why not at that point? It's kind of like how yeah. my fifth grade math teacher would play Good Charlotte. Man had taste. Yeah. He's also this. Uh, he also had a uh, corn snake in the classroom. Oh, nice. And he's also the math teacher. Oh, who, uh, yeah. Later, hit... Glub. Have a good day at work. Yeah, this math teacher also. Uh, so when people fell asleep in his class, he had this thing where he wore slip on sh on shoes all the time, because then if someone fell asleep in his class, he'd kick it at the front of their desk. Well, he messed up trying to hit someone else's desk and hit me in the face. Oh, nice. No. Anyways, I got a really big cookie out of it. Nice. Man, I want a cookie. Yeah, it's like a cookie the size of your face. <laughs> okay. Dead ass though, why am I not coming across what I need? I am here for a long mackerel. Hmm. Now, I, will, I will say that the corn snake did not have the most creative name. You want to guess what it was called? Uh. How the fuck is Jiggy? Barry B. Blood? Barry B. Benson. It was called Corny. Oh, also, who the heck is- that was my second guess. Also, who the heck is what, hun? <laughs> Jiggy McLovin has added me to their friend list. On... Palio? Yeah. Oh, I don't know, probably just someone that I'm saw you. House. I don't know how you, like, remembered my name. There's- well, no, if I had to guess, there's probably like a, uh, what's it called? There's probably like a online players roster list somewhere. 
Probably. If I had to guess, they're probably super annoying and just started adding everybody as friends. Probably. All right, I'm going to see if Google knows this. Okay, Google. Is the snake mackerel a nighttime fish in dredge? Day and night. Thank you, Screen Rant. The worst part is, I think I know where they're trying to get me to go. I just think it's one of the more... I think it's one of the more dangerous areas. Wait. <laughs> that is twice that I've missed with a fish. Okay, I need to make sure this is accurate, because I think she said there was some at E4, but that's still her basin. You finally got paid? Hell yeah, Cosmos. That's what's up. Oh my gosh. So have you been... I was going to say, how's work been? I hope you've been good lately. Right, let me look up this thing about the snake eel. Or snake mackerel. I'm an idiot. Oh, I think I'm fishing too close to Devil's Spine. I think I need to go further out to the ocean. Work's been a little hectic, but it's been worth it. Yeah, honestly, I hope so. It's one of the things that is a big point of uh, discontent for a lot. All right, we'll do a quick sleep, and then we'll see if we can find the stuff in our updated estimation of where the fuck this snake mackerel is. <laughs> yeah, 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 definitely. Uh, also, oh, that's right. Wait, no, hang on. No, you're not New Mexico. Is, is, um... Is gambling legal where you are? Because that is definitely not legal here. Huh? Gambling isn't legal in Texas. Uh -huh. Oh, I think that's it. Yeah. Yeah, Montana's Snake like mackerel. everywhere and the gas station. Is a casino. But you're not allowed to do online gambling. That's strange. Okay, so this way is gonna be the way. I'm excited. We got the snake mackerel. Gambling is legal in Oklahoma. Oh, okay. Yeah. I mean, normally I'd say that sucks, but I mean, I don't know. If people want to gamble, I guess, let them. I'm not going to tell people no. I can't say that I never did. I was a fucking... I mean, I still play MapleStory, but I was on the hook financially for like 10 years of my adolescence.
Here's your snake mackerel, buddy. They take a book and hand it over. Hunger sated. Now I wait. Okay. Bye, buddy. Hope you find your dad. I hope that... I hope we read the book technically... All right. Now all we have to do is find tablets and catch rare fish. Damn it. Rare fish though. How's my day going? It's going pretty good. Just hanging, doing some dredge. Um, a little frustrating earlier because I was trying to do some editing stuff and it was being stubborn. And uh, some hidden file took up like 45 gigs of my SSD. And I was trying to find that out for a while and that was frustrating. And I say hidden because it wasn't there before, but then I found it randomly after a while. If I swap to the red grub and I start actually getting stuff, I'll be pissed. Oh, wow. Okay. So all of... So I'm going to do ma tablets next because tablets are all in devils. Who knew? Okay, dog. Have a good night, Cosmos. Um... But yeah, so I need to... Where is it? They have coordinates of these. I just don't know which tablets I technically have. Because I don't know if I've gotten them in order. So I guess we'll just check all four locations. Scott, how's it going? <clears throat> Sorry, I'm a little bit distracted. I was looking something up. I'm trying to see where the rest of these little tablet things are. So, south side of Q13. That's at the tip of the first island. Excellent. Well, that's good to hear. Okay, so according to the map, it should be like right here on this little thing. We probably have this one if I had to guess. Because it would be... It would be right here. So we got this one. The next one is the southwest corner of P13. It's the other corner of...
So it's the other corner of the second island. So we need to go through here. Damn, that one was persistent. You gotta- Oh shit, nice! Oh my god, so excited for you getting uh, your new laptop, man. That's gonna be sick! I hope it's a really good one. Um... Shit. So... I was looking for... This is gonna be frustrating for a second. So I need to go this way. I need to make sure I have this queued up. Okay, this is where it's supposed to be, so if it's anything, it's that little bit of scrap in there. But I think these are all supposed to be shiny, so we'll see how that goes. Yeah, that's just- that's just scrap. Okay, we are right where it's supposed to be, so we're not there. And then the other two are up by the ancient ruins. Now, if I had to guess, probably up there. Alright. And without getting too much into deep shit here, we need to turn around. No, I said without getting into deep shit here. Thank you. I think I see it. That's definitely it. So this one needs an explosive. Okay, that's fine. We know where to get explosives. And then where's the other one? The other one's like on the other side. Hey, I mean, either way, that's going to be so much better than your original one, Scott. That's going to be so hype. The redfish are bad. Yeah, those are piranhas. They summon the mama piranha, and we don't want that. Um, also, I am currently... Oh, man. Okay, so this is... It's been kind of rough. We have been searching for these little plates, and I think that... I don't... I guess that that's the last one. The Rizana. <laughs> Imagine. Uh, a tooth, uh, a dental program could do a lot for a piranha. Alright, so... Yeah, so the other one... Okay, so they're both supposed to be along this island. Assuming that we didn't already get one of them. But we know that one of them is behind explosives. 
And if I really had to guess, I bet that's it. Well, no, because it said we found two. But I think there's supposed to be three? Three or four. Oh, okay, okay, hang on, hang on. I know what's up. Alright, let's cast off these guys, and then we'll be good to go. Because I know what we gotta do. Alright, we need to turn around, and we need to go to... Oh, gosh, it's Gale Cliffs. That's where they're manufacturing the explosives, so we need to turn south. Alright, this is going to be a long trip, but we might be able to make it considering it's 9 a.m. I gotta make sure there's nothing there. That ooh, that looked like it could have been something. Oh Jesus! Fuck. Of course the jet drive engine's damaged. Whatever, it's fine. We'll fix it when we get there. Oh my God! It was a trap. It was a giant crustacean the whole time. <laughs> oh yeah, I've run into that thing. That was like the thing that I was like, uh, shipwreck attack me. A bag of doubloons, ooh. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. Alright, we're at Gale Cliffs now. We just gotta buy some explosives, sleep, and then go right back to where we were. <laughs> I bought out their entire stock of explosives. And back to the Devil's Spine we go. With new information and explosives in hand, nothing's gonna stop us. And while we're at it, we might as well figure out if the One Piece is real or not.
Oh yeah, with big tech items like that, never trust the shipping date. <laughs> Half of the time it'll be there like a week early, and the other times it'll be like a month late. There's no way to gauge it really. But yeah, no, I'm happy you're excited about it. I'm excited you're actually getting a new uh, a new laptop. That'll be sick. I'm just hoping it'll uh, do everything you want it to. All right, so we're here. I guess we don't really need to sleep. It's 1 p.m., so we'll just go up to the ancient basin or temple. We have one explosive, so I hope it doesn't take more than one. I don't know why it would, though. Back to the Marrows. Alrighty, good night, Scott. So, let's go give this to the guy that does the valuables, and then hopefully that'll be the end of that quest. I'm not sure. I gotta figure out which quest we even have to do to get the true ending. The trader takes the stone tablet from you and places it alongside the others. He turns them over and arranges them together in a square. On the undersides of the tablets, the glyphs begin to cast an eerie light onto the ceiling. Hmm, yes, go on. He begins uh, transcribing the glyphs onto old scrap of parchment. Each stroke appears demanding, uh, to demand excruciating concentration. After a few minutes, he puts down his pen and reads aloud. When the sky mistakes the stars and the air grows thick with night, the deep will open its scars. Protect us, O oh guiding light. I only know of one guiding light, but these tablets predate the lighthouse at Greater Marrow by centuries. The fragments are fused together now. Why don't you take it back? In theory, they should open a lock somewhere, but where? Hmm. Intriguing mystery. Do let me know if you make any progress. In the meantime, do you have any trinkets for me? No. Oh, this goes to the lighthouse. I'm an huh? idiot. Uh, in Devil's Spine, there's a locked door to a lighthouse. That's where this goes. I didn't even make that connection. Uh -huh. It just I just happened to glance it from this page I was looking at that was helping me with the last uh, tablet location. And I was like, okay. And then it's uh, it's like, oh yeah, it'll 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 be to this lighthouse. And I'm like, oh okay. Like part of me feels a little bit robbed of the aha moment, but also never would have guessed because I forgot all about that shit. What the fuck? When did you get off my line? I somehow pulled in a walleye without even knowing it was on the fucking line. Nice. That's true fisher that's true fisherman shit right there. 
Like, that means that you're, like, a legit pro. You ever think about that? Yeah. But I, I need to catch Surger and Grass Pickerel. I don't even know what that is. It's type of pike. Oh. Honestly, I thought pike was just the pike, and that was it. Well, it... So it's a it's its own family, but it's related to Pike. Oh, okay. I did an uh-oh. Uh-oh, what did you do? I forgot to bring the tablet with me. Oof. Arrow. It's in my storage. And look, look, it was a, um, <clears throat> let me check my notes here. Genuine oopsie. I'm so good at, I swear to God, I'm so good at this boat. No one's better at both than me. To the lighthouse. Bam. The fused tablet clinks into place and the door rumbles before sliding aside. You step through the doorway. <clears throat> you step through the doorway of the ancient lighthouse. The stairway to the top has collapsed. This is as far as you're going to get. Around you are a number of dusty objects. Some of them look valuable. Flame of the sky? What? It's a light? 3,500 lumens. So the only thing we have left are rare fish. Hmm.
Lots of hidden trophies in this one. We have not discarded 25 fish. That's how you know we've been poor. So a lot of these are just research all of these. Some of these you can't even see. So we'll have to come back later and do some of these. Oh well. Well, I guess if that's all we can do for now, I guess we'll just go back to the marrows and install this new light. Oh, and I guess we should see what we need for the true ending, because, like, I don't know. We only have one active quest right now, so we might be close. Okay, I found a way. We're gonna get the true ending, because we can get it right before we go to bed. It's not hard, but I definitely wouldn't have figured this out, because apparently the NPC you need to find has uh, a bunch of different location possibilities. I wonder if they'll eventually get this... This flame of the sky. I don't think they will, though. See, that's plus 750. Seven fifty is the best we'll get, so just buy another one of these. So, the mayor has four locations. He could be F15, J302, and P10. Where the hell are we? So, F15 would probably be the closest one. Wow, F15 is at the very, very top of Twisted Strand. So, towards the left. Alright, fingers crossed. Hopefully, he's there.
Okay, so he should be like right in front of us. Or, well, if he's here? You undock next to an old rowboat. Somebody's here. He's hunched over by a campfire, muttering to himself. You cautiously approach. We found him first try. What the fuck are the odds? Well, one out of four, I guess, actually. Alright. <clears throat> Did you throw it back? What? The book! I don't understand. I'm not seeing things. It's really you, isn't it? Are you okay? He turns away. Wringing his hands, he speaks to the fire. It was him. Him and his damned wife. They dredged up that old book. But something, something cloaked the fog. It, it followed, followed it out. Right through the boat. Boom! The man makes a crude explosion noise and motions wide with his hands. Still talking to the fire as though pantomiming the story to a child. It spoke. It said it was coming for our breath. That we wouldn't be needing it soon. And that darkness crashed down. Or then darkness crashed down. An age later, some of us washed up on shore, and him, still clutching that book. Throw it back, we cried as the fog rolled ashore. We thought, surely, it can be undone. What book? Silver and crimson. The book, covered in blood. Throw it back. The man closes his eyes and holds back tears. His voice falls to a whisper. Please, the lighthouse keeper. She saw. She knows where it came from, where it needs to go. Okay. Lighthouse keeper it is, buddy. What is it? What do you know about a silver and crimson book? She shudders at the very mention of the book. You're really asking me? After all this time, you know it must be returned. She looks at you with deep pity. You have to move on. For her sake as well as yours. Oh no, she's been dead! Take control. Be rid of the thing once and for all. Okay. So I guess now we go talk to the guy. All right. What is it? Tell me about that book of yours. Which book? This one here? With a wry grin, he pulls a dusty tome from the nearest shelf and glances at the cover. There's really not much to it. Histories of the Grey Isles. It's quite a chore. Don't play dumb. You know what I mean. Play dumb. Your hypocrisy is wearying. I suppose we must go through this rigmarole yet again. The Book of the Deep appears in his hands. Sheathed in its dirty crimson jacket. Go ahead. Ask us. Where'd you get it? Sparkling dust motes hang in the air between you. Don't you remember? You were there? The air around the book begins to pulse rhythmically like a quickening heartbeat. So was she. Who? You wanted to forget. You begged me. The room bristles. This is what you asked for. Give me the book. Your words hang in the space between. You won't change a thing. The book is ours. <laughs> I don't like the way you're talking right now, buddy. Step closer. You take a step closer through the crackling room. The collector lurches forward in response. What can you possibly hope to achieve? Take the book. You strike out with your hand, punching hard into the jaw of the collector. His face shatters and falls onto the ground. It was a mirror oh. the whole time? We oh. were the collector? That's crazy. You're pathetic. 
The Book of the Deep is in your hands. Understand this plainly before you sink us into despair. I know how to bring her back. It's all right there on the pages. And now you've seen its power firsthand. We wield the power to release her from her slumber. We can undo everything. Undo what you did. Sleep. Sleep so save. I really like this, uh... This twist. I was gonna say, us being, us being the, the collector never would have guessed. Let's see. Oh, right. Storage. Pocket watch. That's what we gotta do. Deliver the relic. He approaches, drawing closer with an incessant ticking. You have the pocket watch. You take out the watch. Its once frozen hands are now inexplicably twitching in a rhythmic struggle, trying but failing to move forwards. You put it in front of your uh, in front of the collector. Though it has been decades since I last laid eyes upon this, the sound of its mechanisms have grown no less unpleasant. And with that, our collection is complete. I must admit, I'm not surprised. Or I am surprised. I didn't think you would have the determination for such a job. Now, with these five relics in our possession, only one thing remains. We will see her again soon. It'll all be worth it. You know this, I know. We must take one final voyage. This time, I'll be with you. I'm ready. Yep, I already know about this. The relics are coming with us. You should wait for the fog to clear, or to thicken. With luck, the seas will remain unaware of our intentions. I hope that this actually has a different- I hope I didn't fuck this up at the last second. Now, our destination is on the open exp- Yep, okay, we already know about this. This is the place. Oh good, Sari bot's back. Okay, well that's good. I'm glad that's I'm glad that Sari bot's back. Mm -hmm. This is where she was taken from us, and where we can at last bring her back. Only here, and only because of what we've achieved. You open the book. Its pages frosted with ice and a chill mist rises around your fingers. You begin to read out loud. And to release a lost one frozen in time, you throw the pocket watch overboard. And tethered by the chains of the deep, you throw the necklace overboard. To bind them to this world once more, you throw the ring overboard. Open the door to the starry heavens. You slot the key into the music box and lay the weary world to rest. You throw the music box overboard, its key left unturned. Yeet. There she is, my wife, or I assume she's my wife. Imagine you just, you were dead, you drowned, and you just see your, your, your significant other resurrecting you, and they just go, my wife. <laughs> I'll be like, drown me again. Just. <laughs> God, those eyes are crazy. I assume it's Cthulhu. 
It's probably supposed to be, yeah. Raise the old one from the abyss. That wasn't much of a different ending, but it was a better ending. Wait, are we sure this is the positive ending? The town is still burning. <laughs> yeah, screw the town. Wait, I still got the bad ending? What did I do wrong? <laughs> oh, oh, oh my god. I fucked it up at the last second, like I said. What'd you do? You done messed up, Kekara. Okay, 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 hang on, hang on, hang on. We're gonna do it for real this time. For real? For real dude. this time. No, I fucked up. Apparently, after we confront him and break the mirror, we're supposed to go talk to the lighthouse keeper again. Even though it's not really ever specified. Okay, I'm bringing in the pocket watch with me just in case. I'm not going to talk to him just in case, but I assume the mirror is still broken. Or wait, did we get the- do we have the- no, wait, I think we have to confront him still. Because we have to have the book, I think. Let me check. Okay, yeah, yeah. I have to break the mirror. Yeah, let's go head back to the lighthouse and see if it's anything now. And if not, we might have to wait till the time. What is it? I have the book. You had it this whole time, have you not? It doesn't matter. Make the most of this window of lucidity. Now is the time to act. Do you remember where it happened? In that gloomy darkness behind the bay. When you're ready, I'll point the way. I'm ready. Yes. Then we must wait. Yep, okay, so we still gotta wait. That's the only mistake that we made. We brought the book to the wrong person. It's time. I'll point the way. Follow my light. Go and do what's right. For her. Throw it back. Oh, the lighthouse is pointing. It's definitely still pointing to, like, the same area. This is the place. Throw it back. The book struggles in your grasp. 
its weight somehow shifting from side to side. Silver ribbons flail pathetically against your fingers. Throw it back. You hold it high above your head. A low groan rumbles from the book, echoed by another from the depths. Throw it back. You throw the book into the foaming water. Yeet! We got an achievement! Toothy. We get eaten? What? Well, by the way, can I fish that? Please? <laughs> oh! Aurora Borealis? At this time of year! <laughs> uh, yeah, apparently. And that's it. That's dredge. Damn. I guess that makes it like a little more like, yeah, you fucked with powers that uh, you shouldn't have, and so you know you died about it. Yeah, this ending is a lot better. Town is intact. Rainbow or not rainbow? Aurora borealis. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm really glad we went back to get the extra ending on this. This was super fun. Uh, I'm genuinely sad this is over. I'm gonna have to try to platinum this at some point, but. Starting next Thursday, we'll be doing Dead Space. 